board. Oh, look, it's the submarine David Ayer served on. <laughs> Like this is this is a really detailed island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago. This really happened. And captured by next generation special forces, being led by members of Foxhound. Uh. Excuse you. Jesus. <laughs> what are you, my sister? Oh fuck! The window capture is not working now. It's not showing the cutscene. Yeah. They launch a nuclear fuck. weapon. <laughs> launch a oh, weapon in my there it goes. Yeah, First, you're to rest oh fuck, it's doing what it did when I was Anderson. playing Tomb Raider. President of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both it's not streaming ex when I'm on the window, it's only streaming when the window's in the background. Why the fuck did it you're to investigate did I fix that before? Not the terrorists have uh, oh, someone's here for racism. Uh, stop them if they do. Uh, I don't know, the Mexicans are getting kind of uppity recently. <laughs> Oh, I hit the Windows 10 capture. It puts a yellow border over everything. It's extremely annoying. Swimmer delivery vehicle. Gets as close as it can. Dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Is, is, is that Solid Snake in the Scooby gear? Yeah. Okay. No, actually. It looks like, uh, did you watch Kablam? Sudo no. was a stinky diver. Foxhound, your former unit. He was a stinky diver. Of. So they're okay. still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved. Yeah, so whenever I actually have the window active, it freezes on Streamlabs. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, Sniper Wolf. It didn't used to do that. Deadly sharpshooter. Decoy octopus. Wait, who's the voice of Solid Snake? David Hayter. David Hayter. Writer of X Men One and Two and uh, Watchmen, at least in the credits. Yes, that's Writer where, okay. of only good movie. and a formidable gunfighter, and finally. Charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid so Snake. Oh, Liquid Snake. Chris. The man with the same code name as you. Yeah, that's what it's. That's what that's from. Yeah. Yeah, there's a Liquid that Snake and a Solid funny, Snake. Like the only like genuinely funny, funny like Chris Chan trolling. As usual, this is a one-man. It, it, it wasn't like malicious. It wasn't like mean spirited. This is a top secret black op. It's amazing. They created. I do think people should just leave Chris Chan alone from now on. Yeah. They they created a lot of assets just for this intro that you'll never see in the rest yeah. of the game. A lot of N the NPCs and submarine control room and stuff. That was a whole ass cutscene. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, we're getting I a lot would of that. be very interested to see like if, if Kojima spicy. took a crack at like making a movie. Like, it would it would be know. interesting to see. Um. He's done. He, apparently, he's done some like uncredited writing for a couple reference things. Uh, does, does anybody know why in Streamlabs now? And it never did this before with with Duck Station. It freezes when I'm in the window I'm trying to capture, and then only works when I'm windowed out of it. Because it was doing that with Tomb Raider also last time. That's like a new problem. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss to explain it. Um, I'll, maybe I'll just try monitor capture. Oh wait, I remember where th I remember this butt mod woman. Oh yeah, movies. she got canceled for being like a super transphobe. She like and she got fired <laughs> for for being super know. transphobic. Uh, she fucked around and found out. I've been having issues getting RimWorld to work recently. It's been really annoying. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if OBS uh, changed something. It's, um, it's still on static and in. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just, I'm okay. sorry, everybody. I did this, this, like, Duck Station worked fine before with all these same settings. I don't know what's changed. Um. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can point game capture at it and it'll work right. properly now. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska. We are now on Pelago. take three of this cutscene. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'll. Being led by members of sake. We're, we're watching this nice cutscene, viewers, and you go, don't get to They're see it. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that. All right, now I think it's working. 
they're treating the remains of Big Boss like the remains of Superman. They they do. Yeah, that's a that's a recurring theme. Um, so uh, there is um the, there was two MSX Jap uh, personal computer games that came out before this one uh, in the eighties. That this is a sequel to, and that's where like your snake. You go on a mission to stop some guys from building a Metal Gear, and then it turns out Big Boss, the guy who tells you what to do on the radio, is the leader of the guys you're trying to stop, and then you kill him. Uh, okay. You also fight a guy named. Uh, Which uh, also happens. Gray, in real life. You also fight a guy named Gray Fox, who uh, was part of your special forces unit that later defected. That's kind of compressing the plots of Metal Gear One into. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a very effeminate British man. Oh yeah, he's he's a bit of a twink. That's that liquid Ooh, snake. There's a gay guy in this game. There's a sassy gay guy. That's, uh, yeah, that's a gay guy. There's a there's a lot of gay guys. There's there's a lot of like barely subtextually gay guys in Metal Gear. <laughs> oh my god, it's 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 Griffin. Or Griffith. It's Griffith. Just a long-haired blonde guy. Yeah, sorry for the technical difficulties, everybody. Sorry, guys. Some, something's changed with OBS. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140. Yeah, there's a lot of codec calls in this game. When you want to use the uh, yeah, this is the, it's the meme. The it's it's a way to uh, do dialogue without doing even more cutscenes. Uh, but I actually I like the animated sprites more, and I liked the two and three when they. These are very well drawn. Small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Ooh, got it. Okay. Dude, it's I'm so cool. They, it's so fucked up that that shit is real. <laughs> I have like and like the like throat mics are real. It's like come on man, that's that's fake. You guys made that up. Yeah, there's some things to collect down here. Also, yeah, there's a you have a an a, a, an oxygen meter, but uh Oh, is that is that the only thing to get down here? Is that there's something in this corner I thought. Oh, maybe I'm misremembering. Uh Oh, hold on. Wow, there it looks to be a serious lag in the... I can see it now. This is a good start. Series Jane Bond. It gets fucking weird. You guys should talk about comic books. No, I'm kidding. I can't make it <laughs> about comic books. All right. That guy I goes... I really bored of that. It's, it's like for a PS1 game, like... It's amazing all the little details. Rats screwing around, the overhead lighting yeah, playing off the guys. Yeah. They have little pools of breath. Oh, also this. I have this on my Steam Deck. This water, if they're close enough, they'll hear you walk through it and come and investigate. Ooh. Same with like if I do this. What was that noise? Lure a guy over. Is he gonna turn? Yeah. Right. Here. This is the kind of game I See, would and then like he hears the... to play as a kid, though, because, like, the idea, like, what put me off of playing games so much was, like, I would get really upset if I, like, failed at something. Like, oh. I would take it personally. <laughs> an elevator there you can take up to the ground. That, You'll just have to that and I felt, like, down. really bad when I They're killed a bunch of people in Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> like, I, I legit felt guilty. So uh, I'll use a save state here and I'll show you what happens if you get yeah. caught. Cause we've basically, you've got to kind of kill. This is like your tutorial area. If you didn't do the yeah. optional VR missions and I'll just, I'll just get this guy's attention. Hi. Yeah. So we get this alert phase and then we get an evasion phase and that means they're trying to find you. Oh, those are uh, flashlights. Oh. I was like, are there, are, are there guns, like, firing by accident? That would be fun. So that's what happens if you get seen. Okay. They they uh, go on alert, and then if you avoid them long enough, they start looking for you. And then, uh... Oh, shit. He turns around. Uh, And then if you avoid them long enough again, everybody kind of goes back to where they're supposed to be. Military advisor, Modosada Mori. Oh, yeah, they work like 
Because Kojima is like one of those types of guys. They like, oh, I've already full he, up on he rations. Has that kind of autism. Oh, I'm totally. Guessing. Yeah. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 in particular. <laughs> uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 in particular kind of goes crazy with like gun stats and like quasi realistic behavior for the guns. Also, all these cameras had to be manually programmed, like having one for like kind of each yeah. place you can go and press against the uh, wall. Because um, you use that, uh, you use that wall press a lot, especially if you play on hard, you don't have the radar telling you where guys are and what their vision cone is. Um, and then you really need to use that wall press to get around. Although if you're playing on hard, no. you probably know the game reasonably did well. They, did they re remake or remaster? They did a GameCube remake. Um, okay. which is, I don't like as much. It's, it's not bad, but it like, um, it's just like stylistically just a little off and it adds oh, a bunch of cool, game mechanics. Adds it adds a bunch of game mechanics so from two like without adjusting the actual game to fit them. And it kind of makes it trivially easy. <laughs> Look at that chisel jawline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's shaped like a damn Dorito. These, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 is like the most, I mean, it's it's in all of them to some degree and still a lot in 2 and 3, but 1 is like the most blatantly, I think, anime-esque. Uh, although 2 is also still quite a lot that way. Especially since 2, you play Raiden for most of the game. What's oh, wait, the, I mean, what's, what's the one? Is it 5, the one that's centered on Big Boss? Uh, three, uh, three and five and Peace Walker, which was a PSP game. Okay, because all... I think I, I watched my friend Ronan playing, playing that because usually when I go see my friends, Ronan is gaming. Did it have like PS2 graphics or PS4 graphics? Uh, no, it was like PS4, or PS5. Yeah, then it was Metal Gear Solid 5, probably. Yeah. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent snake. Hey, snake, I'm in your ass. Slow you down one bit. Thanks to the VR training I did on board the Discovery. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry. That's just a weird, actually. I think Barely I should do that. It's designed to prevent yeah. hypothermia. This is Alaska. Oh, I think, yeah, that line about the suit being hard to move in is like an explanation for why you move a little, like the movement and controls feel a little stiff. Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Yeah, so they the base, they, there, there is an optional briefing that gives a lot of detail, but I just I felt like it would be just more cutscenes. Yeah. But like, this is like a base in, in the outer islands of Alaska that where they're disposing of nuclear waste. And uh, this rogue special forces unit has taken it over and is, yeah, making demands of the president for money and remains a big boss. Yeah, we'll be seeing that helicopter later. Also, yeah, people watching, uh, no, no hard spoilers because Nicole has never uh, knows nothing about this game almost. Don't, don't, if you get spoiled, you're, you're not allowed to listen to our podcast anymore. Yeah, you are, uh, you are. You're banned from take, the RS feed. We take, yeah, we take, <laughs> we take your IP address out of the RF feed. And I, I go over to my big fishbowl of names and I rip your name up and take it out of the Nicole Fuck a Fan contest. This is Maylene. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. Mayla, yeah, I fucked her. Signed your code in, as well as your I fucked my system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to That is a white woman doing an accent. Like yourself. But Wait, it was 1998 and it was okay. What's wrong? Oh, thanks she for the follow. Pulling, up, pulling back on her eyes for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing the Nick Mullen. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know <laughs> Fuck that, that's weird. Next 18 hours. Snake is really horny in this game. I can't believe I'm being Ooh, hit on by the I famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. 
<laughs> Come Would on. Would you like to do back shots on me? Oh, man, dude, she's doing the LRs. Come on. <laughs> I'm working for you. Let me explain about your Solitan radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies. This is one of those funny tutorial things where it's like, you should have figured this out if you got past the first room already. Soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. Oh, okay, so we they, we also got like genetic manipulation and eugenics going on in the background the here. Oh yeah, oh there's every Hideo Kojima game has like 500 ideas crammed into it to, with varying degrees of development. As a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists, if he's alive, that is. But yeah, so the thing about it saying they have like highly developed senses and then it's like they have like a 90 degree vision cone that goes 10 feet. It's because the guys in the original MSX games, there was no sound mechanics at all. And they saw basically in a straight line Yes. and had no peripheral vision. So it's a lot of things in these games are meta textual. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want <laughs> me to record your current state. <laughs> My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. 96, not 69. Remember. My favorite, my favorite podcast is... Marvel, Marvel Rest Dead. <laughs> I'll remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make uh, it back don't... in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. <laughs> Ooh, she's a cutie, too. <laughs> by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to. This is what wokeness smoke. took from How you. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? He, he ate Never cigarettes? Know. Yeah, because the, the, sh yeah. the shots... Um, He's going like, to regurgitate up. him? He already did. Yeah. Oh. Because the shot suppressed the stomach acid, you see. There's the front door. So this is all the game's the, the piloting me right now. I'm not controlling Dr. it. Naomi, like, I can't totally put her, her fingers in his me. ass. Maybe. One sentry on the left. Uh, I, I want to believe. It's entirely possible, like, pineapples. in these games, man. <laughs> pineapples? That's a good question. What does he... Yes. Yeah, what what cigarettes does Snake smoke? There should also be a duct on the second floor. Uh, uh, good. I don't know cigarettes. Well. It'd be funny if there were Newports. There <laughs> smokes... I he smokes Swisher sweets. <laughs> Canadian classics. What kind of cigarettes do they got up there? The like none of way. them? I'm counting on you, Snake. Alright, now I'm in control. But yeah, we can. Dude, uh... what kind of cigarettes do they got over there? Uh I don't know, Canadian classics are what I always what my parents smoke. Oh yeah, so if you equip the cigarettes, your health will slowly drain, but there are a couple situations where you actually can use them for things. I, I would like to know what. Oh, well, maybe like starting. The, oh, the OG yeah, Metal no. Gear manual says Lucky Strikes. Oh. That's cool. Okay. He takes out like the hipster, like pink, like rolled clove cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Also, um... those, are, those are really cute. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life, and I don't plan to but i okay, I, I hate right. smoking is kind of sexy that's that's why i had Shit. to stop was because it was too uh -oh. sexy god damn it Stu. that was uh i think there might be something up with like controls i'm at 100 percent shit all right well time to hide oh wait i gotta get next time you fuck up i gotta make sure i hit the soundboard properly <laughs> will it show up on the record or on the Let's, well, let's see. Bitches Ooh. leave. Y'all, did, did this should did show up, yeah. Moniker say bitches leave. Bitches leave. I did. Oh, yeah, I did hear that. Chat, did you hear bitches leave? This is a chaff grenade. One of the things it'll do yes. is Hell knock yeah. out, uh, 
Security cameras. A surveillance camera? So I can run in here. A get some stun grenades, camera? which are really useful. A freaking surveillance camera? A freaking camera? surveillance camera? A freaking what? surveillance camera? What the deuce? Right, here we go. Guy, Getting I, here. What if we did a Family Guy podcast, guys? I think that would be a very like an original uh, like kind of idea. Very original idea. Holy, I don't think holy crap! Done that yet. I'm, on, I'm on Shadow Mo Moses Island. And then maybe we could do like a side series oh, where we on. like talk about like nostalgia critic or. or or oh oh that fucking Max Landis guy is a fucking Nicole, asshole. Nicole, you Nicole, the stream has been going for less than thirty minutes and you've already name dropped a competitor. <laughs> They're our friends. And I give them I give them now seven dollars a month. <laughs> so I I oh, can. Shit. Whoa, careful. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, careful the the. It's not like the spring breakers like. Shit. Uh, all the oh my god. I'm not here. Why is the sound word? Psycho gay guy. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I'll try not to do that too, too often, but I just, I just want to keep the stream oh. moving. That sucks too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, take this pop out. Yeah. This guy. Forgot he did that turn around there. I always kind of. I like to find ways to fuck with you when it comes to the guards to surprise you with a little. Yeah, a sneeze or they turn around or something. I should be able to just get yeah, here. Dude, I've been trying to get Rimworld to work all fucking day, man. On your computer or for streaming specifically? I keep my mind no, on my computer. Keeps... My mind keeps like auto correcting that to rim job. <laughs> it was. There's, there's a sex so mod rim called. Job to work. There's a sex mod called Rim Job World. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'm just, I'm just hitting start to test if the controller is being laggy or if the game just controls more stiffly than I remember. Oh, this guy's cool. Oh yeah, he's really cool. I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. He Once looks like a, a JoJo character. Train the Alaskan scout. <laughs> on the skills to a new a little bit. I mean, these, these games have like pretty. JoJo. These games have two or three. I thought I might be of some a kind of similar, I mean, I not similar, but they also have very exaggerated character designs. You always know someone's a main character just at a glance. Yeah. I think that. What, what year did this come out? Ninety-eight. So call me. If you oh, okay. So yeah, they were on part five or part four by then. Yeah. So maybe. So pro honestly, probably. Yeah. No, they're they're in they're firmly in part five. By that. Point. No, it wasn't part five two thousand one. I think it. Part five. Part five ended in two thousand one. No. Part by, by part four. Part part four ended in two thousand one, didn't it? Uh, no, part four ended like the the, the mid late night mid. No, mid part four so. started in. You're, you're, Nicole is right. Uh, it ended in. It ended right before. It ended in actually 1999. I'm celebrating that I'm right. Shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Oh, I like that. Oh, well, you can get into the vents because they're spraying for rats. Woman in the cell. Woman in a cell. Oh, yeah. That There's kind a of woman kinky in ass cell. game. Intruder. Really? Yeah, we're gonna. If you guys, if you guys get get this to twenty viewers, we'll uh, we'll play Custer's Revenge. <laughs> Could you stream that on Twitch? No, I don't think so. That's what's... probably pretty TOS. Is that? Wait, anyway, what's what's Custer's it's, Revenge? It's an Atari Twenty Six Hundred erotic game where you're George Custer with a little like three pixel hard dick and a cat. And you walk across uh, a, a desert avoiding arrows, and then at the other end is a, a native girl who's naked and tied to a pole that you fuck. Oh, but it's like Atari 2600 graphics, so there's like... That sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. Ooh, I like they give you like a first person perspective too. Yeah. Like changing, changing up like the different ways of doing like stealth. 
nothing like different. Yeah, there's you, you get a first version perspective when you crawl under stuff. Um, when you use your uh, binoculars, a sniper rifle, or you can hit triangle and just get a first person view just to see shit that the fixed camera might not otherwise show you. Wait, we were doing premium racism? I wasn't Press made aware of that. Oh, hi, Andy. Down. Oh, yeah, okay, that's all he's Andy's got to chat. tell us. Hey, Andy. All right. Andy's gay ass. Also, you'll notice the soundtrack in this game in particular is very, like, got that Escape from New York synth going. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Snake Plissken, obviously. Yeah. Oh, yeah that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Okay. We should, when we eventually get a background to doing like a watch something else, like bonus episode, we, I like kind of really do want to do like John Carpenter. Just cause like, like the, again, like something like a, a Escape from New York, uh, the thing, obviously. Like a couple, a couple things that I just think are very, have still like a, a long-lasting connection to the sort of shit we have to watch now, but it's, like, so diluted and bad. I I would have a lot of fun doing that, but then part of me is just, like, like everybody, like, every podcast yeah. does their John Carpenter movies. Um, So that, I went into that room and grabbed the thermal goggles, because if I don't do that now, that door will be closed later, and I won't be able to get the key card that unlocks it for a while. You see all these doors have numbers on them? As the yeah. game progresses, you get various key cards that'll let you into more and more and more of them. Uh, damn. This, yeah, no, this one that's playing is like really sick. It's like very Carpenter-esque simp. Ooh, I like that. Oh, no, this, this soundtrack whips. Oh yeah, no, the this music in- uh, Music whips. Metal Gear games pretty much across the board didn't have Good music. Will you play the Nicholas this? Cage okay. oh, Dead no, by Daylight? The first, uh... Uh, oh, I've, I don't, I don't have Dead by Daylight. Um, I've seen people play it, and the, I, I kind of don't like the gameplay I don't like of what I've seen. I have the game. It Well, it seems like, so the idea of a game where you've got, like, uh, players trying to avoid a horror movie monster is cool, but, like, the way it actually works is so... It's like, oh, the, the bad guy caught our friend and impaled him on a hook, and then I take him off the hook, and then he does it again, and it happens like five times in a row. Like, that's yeah. kind of sucked. Like, I feel like it's like not actually committed you know, to being you a horror you game. You can play with your friend. <laughs> Fortnite. John Carpenter's publicist wanting to sue Kojima for the similarities between Escape from the but Carpenter himself is like, nah, Kojima's cool, don't do that. I, I don't know. That sounds apocryphal, but I believe that. I know, I'm pretty no, sure John really Carpenter like, has sure. has played um, at least some of the I'm Metal Gear sure, games. Sure it's real. John Carpenter, like, does nothing but smoke weed and, like, game and make music now. He it rocks. Yeah, he's, he's an old no, man he's now. Real. He's, he's John he's, Carpenter he's refused to, uh, to sue Kojima because he met Kojima and was like, he's nice. Oh, yeah, there's this guy. Damn cold. I hate a he's on the turret? Oh yeah. See him the turret? Built all right. Yeah, Look at the detail the in these environments though for like a PlayStation era game. Oh, just yeah, like it's so toilet. grimy oh, yeah, and there's little room. maggots and the, the toilet, toilet paper guard. holder. <laughs> yeah, he's Yeah, there's like doo doo stains in that toilet bowl. No, yeah, the toilet guard is a recurring character in the franchise. Yeah. You all meet right. like his like his ancestor or whatever. In three, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, three is so awesome. Um, apparently it- They're all great. I like them all. Four, four and five have things I really love about them, but they both, in almost opposite ways, frustrate me because they're both very, un, like, unfinished. Um, I don't mind them. No, no, I, I still like them. I'm just uh, ambivalent. Ooh, oh, there she is. Stu is, oh. is player hating. Yeah. He loves to play her. What's hate. up? What's up? What's she doing? She's she's doing, she's doing sit ups. She's staying tough while she's locked in her cell. Snake, the dark. Oh, I got a dim light. Is coming from Snake on drapes. It's reflecting too much Snake, on my window. I have something in my ass. Oh yeah, I already know how to do that. 
snake, I am Adolf Hitler. Commander of the Third Snake, Army. I am gay. Right, too much reflection off my monitors. Can I drive me crazy? Okay, here we are. The Derp Chief. I hate that I keep confusing plot points from this game from the Aaron Hansen like Metal Gear Awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that was crazy when uh, when the DARPA chief started talking about how he had diarrhea and it's like, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> that, that just didn't. You. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me. You're Donald me. Trump. What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. This is a game. This is like what every voice actor should sound you like. Don't look like Donald Anderson, what, that case, George Bird? Hurry up and get me out of here. Was that, yeah, every, does he have like another name or is No, it, that's the voice or actor. Okay. Or at least a lot of voice actors, especially in this era, use pseudonyms, but that's the credit. That's, the, that's, that's something I like all the Kojima games, all Kojima games do is have a, a like a title, a credit card for every major character. Launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuclear weapon. <laughs> Redhead, you're favorite. Oh yeah, no, I love me a redhead. That's why you wanted to. This is why you were like, hell yeah, we're playing Metal Gear. I mean, I know I suggested it, but I didn't, I didn't realize there was a specific stew angle in this either. Experimental weapon. No, I love this game. This game was really formative when I first played it as a kid. Like, uh, around the time it came out, like seven or eight. Any place on the face of the earth. Is that the titular Metal Gear they're talking about? Yep. Well, here comes one of the lines after the game oh, loads. Yay. Metal Gear. Bye. Uh, you knew? I can. <laughs> I can emulate a faster CD drive, but it can muck some games up. So I, I don't. We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's <laughs> I, I love. Metal Gear go way back. Sight. I love this particular Metal Gear design. But I like my chunky. Hardware. I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. I'd have to pay money to do sound on this. You, you think I got money? Between arms taking ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. Let me take a, I do want to take a look. Edge, like the, the, the Metal Gear is Metal like. Gear itself looks like. Basically the same thing as an F 35. Like Metal just. <laughs> With legs, yeah. yeah. Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Bug. Metal Gear Not the Rex. terrorists. The cold. He, his face. I know it's like the low poly, like system, but his face looks like it, he's just in constant pain. <laughs> well, the the idea is that at the original resolution, on a CRT TV, those pixels blur together into like more of like yeah. an impression of like like a more like impressionistic thing. Yeah, um, you're probably right. So, like, it just looks yeah. like a face covered in shadow, right? But I, I got a movie. Yeah, we lower could do resolution, for, uh, put like safety measures. Some kind of actually, kind like, there's a whole policy. argument about, you know, if you watch like you the VHS pass. of like yes, Alien, of there is the night, the like darker it's scenes are a lot scarier because you can't see as much. Yeah, you you lose the the lack of detail makes what you're seeing more ambiguous. Um, I think that's one of the reasons people like like this era of survival horror games is there's a that's right uh, lack of clarity input our password or there can and it adds to the effect. But but like what's up with a movie like Alien? Like it was also shot and made to be seen in a theater, so it's it's not quite the same. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho no, it's just 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 like that MCU one character. What's her name? Uh, <laughs> This but I love this. It's like an espionage thriller, but then there's also a psychic. Oh, look, it's Black Widow. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a Fuck, way to stop They could launch a nuke anytime. Big ass Sanyo specifically for this reason. Oh, nice, Orange. Dev Orange. They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency. I have a Sanyo uh, the cassette tape player. Card keys, 
and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There's like, like they're really going to town on the cinematography you in this, like with the cutscenes. Whereas a lot of games were still just kind of oh, point yeah. the camera. If it was in engine, they just kind of point the camera at the you characters and not try for any sort of stylistic Something staging or framing. Floor basement. Second floor basement. I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? They didn't, Here, they didn't have time to finish painting. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits. Ooh, like an AT field. <laughs> well, no, no, it's just, it's more literal. <laughs> As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. The, gotcha. Kojima d likes to do his autistic homework and then always find a way to work it in all over into the game. You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? What? Whoa. Yeah, this when is I like eat the best something game that ever, makes my tummy hurt. <laughs> this, is, this is like the best game ever. This game rocks. What is right. happening? I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm gonna buy Oh, my controller is vibrating. I'm gonna buy a, a oh God, deck dock did. so I can play this on my TV. And like, there's like, uh, do like some crazy ass like upscaling so I can make it fit on my 4K TV and then like slap a bunch of CRT filters on. <laughs> Naomi, the chief. What happened? I think that'll fix it. I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack. Oh, no, Colonel. They killed his ass. Me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand <laughs> this op is security. Oh yeah, you're oh, right. No, he jumps right. onto the ceiling. <laughs> access to the complete file. You oh yeah, just a, just a reminder to our viewers: be careful of spoilers because we do want to. Nicole is going into this blind. The Secretary yeah. of Defense is are you, are you capping? Absolutely I'm just not. Support. <laughs> Snake, we don't have time to debate. Yeah, the cutscenes in President Baker. the Twin Snakes, the GameCube remake, get really silly, um, even for Metal Gear. Oh, oh, yeah, is there something under the bed? I feel like there's... Oh, yeah, rations, which we still don't need. Oh, yeah, and we can hear... Uh, torture. The woman out there beat that guy up. And, uh, open yeah, the door. It takes I, a second. Guess, guess who, guess who beat it up right after this? <laughs> guess who got their back walls blown out after? Oh, where'd she go? That's right. Me. Don't move. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did an Agent 47 on him. So you killed the chief, you bastard. He just had his asshole Dude, out. Uh, like, someone find, uh, someone no, find Meryl Black. I need to see if Meryl Don't gets move. black. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. You get given a gun somewhere if you reach this cutscene without getting the SOCOM. Your rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? You're not black. <laughs> you do not have you the pass. Hard, don't you? Why? So you, you don't have hmm. the DNA. An Ibernian DNA. A little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think, shoot!
All right, so you got a little mandatory action sequence here. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! This was like, for a lot yeah, of people, he still, like... He still got balls out in the back. Oh, here, I want to see if this will work. Oh. oh, yeah, if I have the rations equipped, they'll automatically uh, heal me when my health gets low enough. Oh, that's handy. Actually, I'll use them now so I can pick those ones up. It's like a white... Look, where? I can't see where I... Oh, it's off the corner of the screen. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the shooting controls are a little awkward. But if you use the quick uh, un equip unequip, oh shit, grenades, uh, you instantly reload. That's a, a really useful trick in this game. It's like Resident Evil, or if you reload from the inventory, it's uh, instant. If you stand in the upper right corner, they won't ever hit you. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for the help. But like this is in 1998, especially on consoles, if you weren't playing like an RPG, this was like the first game you ever played that had like characters and a complicated plot. <laughs> no, for real. You've killed him. Like the first game you ever played that had something to say at all. <laughs> The evil gay guy. I love this evil gay guy. Also known as Stu. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually actually absurd how straight you are. It really <laughs> is. I am, yeah. Especially given you just, like, like you've just like accumulated an army of like oddists and queers around you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm. Old, I find myself wondering sometimes why it seems like all like half the people I know online, if not more, are trans. Because like that's not something I tried to do. It's like even like the people who are all like male friends or um, years ago like end up transitioning. <laughs> I think it must just be the autism, right? It must just be being a guy that it's grew up on the autism. computer. Yeah, no, it's just the autism. Naomi, uh... I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines <laughs> are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis. Oh, thank you for the follow. Fuck. Uh, Psychomantis. Burn Venters. Thank you. So that was oh, hey, Burn Venters. That's my dick rider. Yeah. Okay, so we actually have to... He's gonna get mad that I called him Dick Rider. Equip the card. <laughs> dick Rider! So now we can take a minute to admire this naked-ass dude. Someone had to model that. Do you think? Do you think they like uh, pixelated uh, that as as part of the the model, of or was that an after? Of course, they pixelated that okay. as part of the model. Right? No, no, they pixel. I mean, there's probably no asshole, but they had they had to pix the pixelation is no, they, uh, they an effect. An um, it's like The Sims. The Sims are pixelated, but if you take away, or in the original The Sims anyway, they're pixelated. But if you take away the pixels, they're just like Ken doll smooth. Unless you're one of the people that adds a mod that gives them. Explicit yeah, genitals. Dick and balls mod. So I'm gonna go back up to the first floor because now I've got this level one card. There's a couple things I want to grab before I go to basement two. Snake, there's cum in my oh, ass. Shit. Colonel, how did the semen get in my colon? <laughs> 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 Oh, fuck is he gonna shit nope oh, okay i can make it what's the what's the shit post uh my my i can't get past it because my ass cheeks are clapping together oh yeah that is it <laughs> let's just go that weaken him up here we go and i got the suppressor on my pistol sleeping. which is useful guy sleeping on the job he's gonna get fired there's a lot of actually the, um the nes version which is very different of the original metal gear on msx the first guy you meet falls asleep on the job and he has a badly translated text box because it says i feel asleep i feel asleep 
Okay, and there's... That's the type of shit I'm on. There it is! I'm buy... Behold! Buy the most powerful gun. item in all of Metal Gear. Oh, hold on, I have to open the door what? with the card Let's first. See. Is it the trank ah, pistol? It's the box! It's the okay, actually, the trank the pistol might be the most powerful weapon in all of Metal Gear. The famous box! I'm, I'm the until five. Box, until five, and then they add those annoying ass fucking, uh. Those helmet enemies that, like, adapt to yeah. you. I hated that in five. So if you're right in a guy's way or in a weird spot, guards will investigate. Trains until next game. Fuck, it's over. And sometimes they won't Fuck. notice, and sometimes they'll uh, gonna get mad be suspicious me. of the box and will knock it over or shoot it. Last gamer cred, dude. It's over. Um, yeah, I, I, the trank guns are interesting because it's after in this game you can knock guys out, but mainly you kind of like kill them. And then after this game, I think but Kojima. Uh, Kojima was like, uh, saw the conflict between his, um, like, kind of anti-war themes and all the killing, and so every other Metal Gear game after this has non-lethal options. Which you can also, you can also tranquilize Stu. Please don't. Okay, we're gonna need that C4. If anyone... To okay, win, that's a level to three win door. the whole fuck a fan contest. Oh yeah, for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, this military storage room has fucking Tomb Raider ass death traps. That's the level that's five not door. Sure. Why not? Fucking, you gotta, you gotta let them niggas. You gotta keep that's them a, okay, that's a level one. on their toes. You know, item drop filled with poppers. I've actually never done poppers. Uh, yeah, so me neither. I don't really get what the deal is with those. <laughs> Someone's gonna call me a liar for saying I've never been <laughs> I'm gonna get a death threat. <laughs> Someone's gonna okay. find my, my real life account for my job and then they're gonna send me a death so we'll, threat. We'll come back here uh, later with higher level cards. But in the meantime, remember about those rooms that had been concreted over but not painted? Yes. Here yeah. they are. They're, they're harder to spot just by sight in when you're originally playing it on I a mean, CRT. That looks, like, that looks like a water stain. I wouldn't have pegged that as as the unfinished wall. Yeah. I would have what thought kind that of was water a stains you got <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you can also do this. You know, you can bang against the wall. If you bang against these walls, they have a different oh, sound. Oh, yeah, like in Suspiria 2018. Oh, yeah. Famous Mia Goth knocking on the, the, the uh, mirror doors. Yeah. Does this room have? I mean, no, I don't obviously, think she didn't invent that movie. Didn't invent that. But. Oh right, this room's got a death trap in it. <laughs> um. All right, so there's a few optional rooms we can uh, oh, make one, our yeah. way into with the C4, which I want to do. Just you know, get supplies, shaft grenades, stun grenades. All these things are very useful. Yeah, you just don't want to stop moving when you hear those popping off. What is that? One of the walls? No, that's just a cracked wall texture. And there's this one. I think that's it. Out. Shit, I got a little too close. <laughs> wait, Good wait. Job. Is there one over here? I want to talk about how cool the on it, but... are no. in the prequels. Usually next Chat, time. you guys want to talk about how cool the, uh, the Arc Fighter is? How it's actually cooler than the X-Wing? Because it has three wings on each side Shut and like up, the bitch. two, two <laughs> wings are tinier. That's, that shit's so fucking cool, man. I, I, that was my favorite Lego set as a kid because it had Kid Fisto. Oh, right, still Lego. Lego. <laughs> and the red, oh man, dude, the red that they got for <laughs> that shit. Cute. Oh, yeah, I can I blow up not ready for that this one. room, too, but I don't think I can do anything in there until I have a higher level card. Oh, please tell me you're not one of those people like like Christian who would like just spend an entire paycheck on like a Lego set. <laughs> like food, like um, money that should go to like I, I important think, things. Oh, oh think, hold on. We're, we're about we're about to meet one of the best characters in the whole series. What? I think that there's a huge, a huge gap between buying lego sets with my money and 
being Christian. <laughs> You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Uh, oh. Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. Z4. <laughs> Me when women look at my penis. Don't touch it. No. Oh yeah, here he comes. Oh, tight fucking ass. Oh, you should see in Metal Gear Solid 4 where they've got a lot of polygons to model it with. <laughs> and you spent a lot of time looking at it. Boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Revolver Ocelot. This guy's like the coolest guy. Oh my god. He's 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 one of the best characters in all of Metal Gear. He's he's a legend. Oh my god. Do, uh, wait till we get to three, and then Nicole this sees what he looks like in three. Oh yeah, when he's young. Oh yeah. He, oh, it's like Griffith. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Anything that moves. Yeah. Now I'll show Fuck you. Fuck yeah, dude. So you pay attention to some of the things he says during the combat too. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I think I play Death Stranding again. Oh, Death Stranding's great. Draw. This is like the best video game ever made. I would, if I saw Kojima, actually I've seen Kojima, but if I if I saw him again, I would just pull his pants down and start sucking, dude. Okay, there's a trick to this, but I always forget what exactly it is. I, yeah, I don't mind Jar Jar Binks. I think it's I think it's cool actually that there's a character that like. No becomes a that's like the comic relief and then like they're like oh yeah what's what's then the, it's the most job racist for... okay nicole look at his dialogue it, what's the job oh i interrupted it bullet? oh yeah like the, the no, he says i love to reload during the battle i love sliding the bullet into the chamber uh hmm. he's and also the suggestive way he strokes his gun in the cutscene. oh so yeah he ricochets bullets especially if you try to hide behind oh. cover for very long but mainly, we just want to get him to reload. Don't you want to settle this? Yeah, if you catch him while he's quipping or reloading, you can get a shot off on him. I don't think this is just this is just moans. <laughs> yeah, the entire game is just dudes moaning. Shit, he really got my ass. I in that exchange. He, he, he just, yeah, I <laughs> love this roller like, court. This guy takes like, poppers. This, this guy, no, no, he is, he's not making, taking poppers when he's moaning like that, dude. That is a, it hurts a little bit, kind of moan. I, I don't know. That, that's, that sounds like someone who, like, loves getting his ass full stretched. <laughs> yeah, but that's what poppers does, you know? Yeah. Come on, take fire that last shot. Oh shit. Getting stuck on the wall, damn it. Dr. Binks is not a racist character. <laughs> I do not need to make the argument that has been cogently made by by more articulate people. <laughs> I just need to look character. at Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> no. What is racist? That is about that him? is not look good. He's cool. <laughs> Fuck, I might uh, lose this one. Like I'll fucking get him on the reload. Probably Netscape in articulate. What did, yeah, what did, uh, what did they call me by that? Just gotta stay moving. Hey, get back here, you little bitch. Yeah. But yeah, he can ricochet bullets. He's actually one of the harder not like crazy hard but one of the harder fights in the game in part because it can like like situations like this can be a little unclear what your kind of best move is to get him out in the open there we go yeah you're pretty good just what i'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss it's been a long time since i had such a good fight but i'm just getting warmed up what Whoa! Yeah. There's a. <laughs> this happened to me. 
<laughs> that is so I, I, I would have been quicker on the... <laughs> Baker actually tied himself up and was waiting for the Santa bites. Oh, yeah. We'll meet again. I like that he grabs his hand with the gun still in the grip. Look at this Kingdom Hearts ass looking. Don't call him Kingdom Hearts. He's awesome. He's, he's so busting right now. Yo, what? Yeah, I think this is the best video game ever made. <laughs> what? Oh my god! This is an annoying boss fight, though. Stu's gonna die a bunch. Ooh, I'll get, I'll no, get the, the one you're referring to? Ah, I'll I'm pretty good at it. I'll get the sound the, facts ready. The boss fight you're referring to, I could beat it when my dad couldn't when this game originally came out. No, you're lying. No, that's you're true. Your dad I, didn't, no. I didn't call the whole inarticulate. I said people more articulate than me have made the argument about Jar Jar. There's no time. No, Nicole is lying. She hates black what? people. <laughs> now the terrorists have I'm not beating the white woman time. accusations. <laughs> Stu was like, we want you on the podcast. We don't know what we're going to do about Nicole. We, we want to be able to do Black Panther and not be called racist. We want to be able to say it's not good. In my brain. Surgical implants. Kind of like surgical. A yeah, it's a BBL. Everyone who knows these topics. This is just what, like, Snake just has CTE. That's why he talks like this. <laughs> He's like, Alex Hernandez. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, an incongruity in the DARPA chief story. I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? Yeah, Ocelot is canonically a, a kinky sadist who derives an erotic thrill from gunfights. Funny man. Oh. So the DARPA chief is he okay? Dead. What? He's into gunplay. <laughs> gunplay. Yeah, was well, whapping with the cane, gunplay. man. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Be normal. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys. Wait, Snake was keys. a linebacker before he joined the military? Code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. Also, yes, Wait, what? I am a POC by that? Italian no. heritage. That woman. I love the Ark woman. Fighter, dude. Who? What a cool a fucking show. A in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She a said female soldier. <laughs> it's a because She refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit. Could that be the colonel's niece? I this redheaded bitch. What the fuck? Like yeah. Managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Oh, this this is hilarious. I'll explain it in a... 69. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn. So there is a way to get her codec. You have to to progress, and we'll we'll explain it in a few minutes. I'll contact her right away. See if you can guess where we get to it. Is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? It's 69, 69. <laughs> you have to watch an episode of Red's you here. To find how <laughs> Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex Oh, I can't wait till we get to how. My boy. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is Wait, is her name Meryl? Well, he's probably being yeah. Uh, I don't know if we've actually been told that officially. Oh, old lady ass. Does she got that? Does she got that dumper? 
Why not here? The new <laughs> she got a BBL. The turn of the millennium. She got a BBL. Oh, you're right. The threat <laughs> of nuclear up. war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Uh, hell yes, time for some stock footage. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. So, because part of the reason why the this shop. game's so uh, modern ports like were unavailable for a while is because Konami didn't want to pay like the like two thousand dollars for the rights to this footage. Yo, this is real shit right here. Yeah, this is this is real like like stock footage, and they didn't want to pay money. For for it, so the game was just Konami are such cheap skates. Yeah. Materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, yes, it's also an unemployment underemployment problem in Russia. For making a bomb, we live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Russia that includes Kickassia. <laughs> Kickassia has the bomb. Maintain our own policy. Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> then Kara, do not give him the launch codes. But like this use no. of no. of um. Yes. Turn the key. Industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military right. budgets due to this. I can't let you. Case. I can't let I you nuke Palestine without me. <laughs> among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost. Their you see, they're talking about like the consolidation of the arms industry into like two yeah. or three. See, yeah, that's like, see what he says about losing the, the fighter the jet contract. Yeah. They're building Metal Gear off the books because they didn't get to make the F-35, literally, because that's how far back that project goes. You can avoid a Pentagon's budget. <laughs> ...time on your weapons production, and no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Like, it is insane to put this stuff in a video game in 1998, back when games were still seen as a thing for nine-year-old boys. <laughs> Yeah. It's going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. Look at the little skinny rock. Destroyed by gunfire. The there's a lot of those optical discs in games from and stuff from this era. There's a lot of them in in Resident Evil 2 and stuff. And because they were like a high tech medium I then, I think they used them a lot more in Japan than I they ever did in the States. Maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim, to your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on. No, me. I took back some. I have one more question. <laughs> Who or what? I got my back ninja? walls rammed through. Like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? Hey, they've been <laughs> making super babies? You should ask Dr. He's a big guy. He could hit just in his folds. She knows oh, the, I mean, we'll get to the super babies at some point, but this is uh, the, the, the cyborg ninja is something else. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. Oh, get canceled. Doesn't metal gear existing technology? <laughs> they'll make a Google they'll, 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 they'll Yeah, I mean, if... Oh, fuck, now he's biting it, too. Uh-oh. What did you do to me? Uh-oh. No. Oh, no. Hit the, they hit the switch. Those Pentagon... Bastards! So they, they are. Is that a killed Caesar Chavez? What are you talking about? They, they, they are just. You, do you mean Hugo Chavez? <laughs> no, Caesar Chavez, right? I, I mean, I don't know if they killed Caesar Chavez. He was a he was a labor organizer in Southern Wait. California. Are you thinking of Hugo Chavez, Chavez, the former president of Venezuela, who died in like 2016 or 2014? He got yeah, cancer, dude. and he said the CIA gave it to him, which may or may not be true. 
Colonel. It's Colonel it's so right. true. Now he, I believe a, it. Yeah. There, yeah. There's no a. Idea. There's no. There's Don't a. Lie to me. Like in you his like diary, he was like, "Yeah, like I was. Kind of I was at like a, a meeting with the UN, and like my Geiger counter started going doses. off, and like it, in my bed." We won't be able to tell and they figured out that they put like polonium like Say dust on his pillows or some shit oh shit yeah maybe yeah. yeah more than you can trust me get in contact with what does that mean colonel snake there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there it should be okay <laughs> i love the use of the ellipses for like the the weighted pause in shang chi should have sounded <laughs> Oh, actually, okay. if you want to hear some so real... We're going to get so can when we get to that. We're going to get so canceled. If you want to hear some real uh, racist accents, you got to play Deus Ex, the Hong Kong levels, the original Deus Ex. Yes, yeah. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Okay, yeah, and uh, when we beat a boss, our life bar uh, goes up a little bit. Nah, All right, he dead. Well, you know what, though? If he'd survived this, you know his ass would have been canceled. Like, you know he's, like, doing some oh, Me Too yeah, shit no. in, uh... Oh, dude. He in, uh, in, at, at Arms Tech. He puts, like, he puts, he, like, he, like, does the stinker to an office secretary when they bring him his pay, like, coffee. Ew. Tea. Uh. <laughs> he's one of those freaks. All right. So now I've got a level two. There's some more doors I can hit before moving on. And now there's guards in here. Is this a level? I guess level one again. Yeah. So some of the stuff you pick up kind of respawns. You can turn. No. We can go back into these rooms and stock up on ammo and things like that. This uh two. Oh, that's a two. Oh, it says FAMAS right on the door. Okay. Okay. Do you see that along the walls though? FAMAS. It's a French assault rifle. Lasers. Also, if you Ooh. didn't get the thermal goggles early, you can see them by smoking your cigarette, ah. and, the, and see them in the smoke. You can smoke mad runs. The, the the Metal Gear games are full of like little details like that, like fun little things that kind of reward you for for trying to like think outside the box. All right, I have to pull the fucking card back out. I always I always forget that in this game, you have to have the card equipped. It's not just a passive ability to unlock doors. All right, that's level three. Okay. This room has the death trap, so I just want to do like a loop. And uh, I don't know if anywhere I can, I don't know if I can pick up new rations in here anywhere. Okay, now he's going that way. And shaft grenades, I'm really gonna want those, so. I think that's kind of everything I can do in here right now. As long as I got the FAMAS, I think that's kind of the most important thing to grab in there on the way back up. Basement one. I'm trying to remember if there's any level two doors I need to hit in the hang. Oh no, not basement one. Uh, I need to go up uh, here. Is there any level two doors I should hit in the hangar? Or are those like three and four now? I don't know. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's Sam. No, that's four. The other ones are like one. No, no. It's four. That's, oh, that's two. Okay. <laughs> just makes it, 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 it's really useful for getting past the security cameras because you can kind of just park your ass and... Oh man, there used to be uh, oh, yeah, there's a guy a way over there. Convention, anime convention culture where you'd always see a guy dressed as snake with a box. And just like that, the the guy with the sign that said like you know free hugs. Oh yeah, free hugs Turn ass guy. Well, was, well, the free hugs guys are gone. Those got like taken out a long time ago. I'm gonna bring back being a free hugs guy. <laughs> no, or well, now the thing is free shrugs. That's like a uh... oh, mind detector. Oh, that's yeah, it's a bit useful. 
Okay, yeah, nothing in here. You can hide under these what desks I, sometimes if you're running away from guys. Detector? <laughs> that's, okay, that's a me. That's a that's a me ass joke. What a your what? A, mine, yours. Oh. Oh, okay. So See, that was so bad. I didn't get it. <laughs> so we need to contact Meryl, but we don't have Meryl's codec number. What do we yeah. do? How do we get it? It's on the back of the case. There's a screenshot of you talking to Meryl on the codec. That's how you get it. If you've uh, so like you had to have, if you have the physical copy yeah. of the game, that's actually kind of like pretty if, clever. if you if you if you go long enough without progressing because you're just like running around trying to figure out what you missed someone will call you on the codec and tell you to look at the back of the gate at the CD case wow um so it like it'll break the fourth wall and be like hey stupid pick up your your PlayStation Game 140.15. Yeah. You know, solid, playing this game reminds me they need to bring White Nick Fury back. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you Nick Fury shouldn't be a black guy. You don't think so? You're the colonel's no, dude. White You're Nick Fury is so much cooler. No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're I always do. one man army? I don't need lectures. The army of like me. Uncle, you know? How do you uh, know this, my And this is, this is where, if this back. was a podcast episode, I would say, Miguel, my drop that not. York sound bite. <laughs> uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? Others call me Daddy. You know? Sorry about before. She's so hot. Sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. Ow. Stu be like, I'm gonna fuck her. My uh, I wish. I, I wish that was eyes. And they're rookie's eyes, right? Ontologically possible. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just oh, he's pulling the moves. From the legendary solid snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't Ooh. believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I love Kojima naming conventions, man. So what's the deal then? <laughs> Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. Is there a gas snake? We're involved in this uh, in what no. Uh, solid and gas. Sorry. No, there isn't. No, there, there is, but there is a third snake. There is a third snake in, in two. Okay. And his name I thought was fake, but it, it is a real term I found out. Is it, is it like, wait, it's a real term? Yeah, it is. You can look it up. It's a real, I, I, I remember reading somewhere it was a real term. Oh my God, it is. It's yeah, like, <laughs> except that it was completely made up. <laughs> This is a it's like plasma. Right. Oh my god. Of metal gear. So it turns out this base has been yeah. the next generation special Full time. were called here for I... the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because there are That's so fucking stupid. Man. Top <laughs> they they so, I hate him. Oh, Oh yeah, yeah. Death Stranding's got Heart Man, Die Hard Man, Dead Man. Yeah, dude, Dead Man. It rocks. What's um, it's, it's What's Guillermo's character around. name in that? He's Dead Man. Uh, uh -oh. Dead Man. Yeah. He's not the fat man. He's also man. a. Is also no, a but there is a fat man in a later Metal Gear Solid, Solid game. In, I'm not sure. In uh, Metal Gear Solid Two, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's a. He's in Metal Gear Solid Two. Detonation code override keys, right? There's also there's a dead man also there's also comics. Metal Gear Solid 2 has a character named Vamp who looks and acts like a vampire, but then there's a line of dialogue that's like, no, he's called that because he's bisexual. What? Heart attack. Same as the dark. This is the best video game I've ever seen. What the fuck? Was either of them sick or oh, did you lose audio? Guys, my like, Not that my Wi-Fi just like I turned believe. off for a second. Weird. Something funny's going on. No, so you missed right. There's a character in Metal Gear Solid 2 named Vamp who looks and acts like a vampire. Can you guess why he's named Vamp? Because he looks and acts like a vampire? No, and this is the line of dialogue. It's because it's because he's bisexual. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're getting directions to find uh, Al Emmerich, the, design, the lead designer of Metal Gear Rex. 
launching program. Um, oh, they'll need him alive until that's done. There's anyway. a yeah. Then we better do something before he finishes. I forgot what I was gonna say. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It's so funny that Thomas Pinchon knows about Metal Gear Solid. What's Although I don't know if he really knows about it, if it's just like he wikipedia like a popular video a game. Door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. Yeah, he Security plays it every day, there. actually. Five, but it's okay. Okay, yeah, so that's why we need to contact Meryl at this point in the game, because she opens the door and lets us go to the next area. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> I'm redhead, idiot. <laughs> One second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training, but when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind I love this. and body it rocks. one day. And I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battle. It's like playing classical yeah, music no over there. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. Because I'm going to fuck you. If I get out of here <laughs> alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Ooh. I'm to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard, just like my uncle said. Huh. I, I recognize you, her voice. No there, I, all the voice actors in this have done a lot of voice acting and other stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the. Uh, I'm gonna we'll wow. care of the detonation. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. All right. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> cardboard box. So it says cardboard box A. The cardboard boxes are somewhat location specific and they'll draw okay. more suspicion from guards if you use the wrong box in the wrong area. There's also, um, like, you remember that truck right on the first uh, outside area where we, um, uh, I think we just got to wait a little bit, where we got our um, okay. gun? Uh, if you, there's trucks throughout the game, and if you use the right cardboard box in a truck, it'll uh, um, shortcut you to the other truck. Like, they drive around and do deliveries. So you have a kind of fast travel um, by using the boxes. Oh shit! It's just a box. Just a box. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing to see here. It's just a box. Oh fuck! That was. Hi. Ah. Okay. It's, I'll be better at it. I'm sorry. I don't. Yeah, it takes a little Opening bit. The soundboard like cuts into the actual like stream. Of it on oh this yeah. So. Oh hey, there was two tanks out here, and now one of them's missing. That's weird. Also, when you do first person in the box, you get like you're looking yeah. out the handhole. Just a little de it's attention cute. to detail. I think we do just kind of have to wait uh, a minute or two for uh, the uh, cargo bay to actually <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Hale. She's everywhere she's also the the <laughs> girl shepherd in mass effect <laughs> oh yeah maybe there's stuff to get out here i sometimes wonder if i abuse safe states too much but it's like i just want to keep like the stream moving oh there we go 
I just own it, you know? Snake, yeah. I unlocked the cargo door for you. <laughs> Where I can see ya. <laughs> you, what are you wearing right now? <laughs> well, she told me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? Uh, your feminine hips. Yeah. That will come up later. <laughs> you got a dumper. <laughs> Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear war storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed oh. my mind. Don't get careless. <laughs> <laughs> turn sour. Nicole's oh, immediately oh, thinking oh. of secretary. I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands I'm, dirty. Immediately guys, thinking of, of, get of, of James Spader. Yeah, James Spader is Solid Snake. James Spader is Solid Snake. Now, what actor would have made a, a good if they like made a Metal Gear? Wasn't they? Didn't they have like someone in mind or something or like a popular? Yeah, the uh, the guy who made Kong Skull Island is apparently working on one. Yeah, sorry. Some of these are just like they don't expect you to be right next to the area, and they say trigger at weird times, and they not, they're telling you they like, anything we don't already know. So that's another reason we need the thermal goggles. But again, you can use the cigarettes if you didn't grab them early. Although this is, it could, um, be the perspective can make it a little disorienting to see which laser is on which uh, spot. Fuck. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I don't think there's a, a way out of this or a vent or no. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit it again. Come on. She was just about to contact me. Any minute now. I might have done some running around. I forgot about rations to pick up. No. What's to do? Yeah, damn. Kurt Russell was like a dime back in the day. I mean, yeah, Kurt Russell's kind of the obvious choice because he played, you know, actual, like the original Snake. But uh, he was a, a little old. He was all old for the part by the time yeah. even this game came out originally. Um, come on, Meryl, when are you gonna, when are you gonna do this? Oh, what's the name of that? Wait, what's the name of that guy? Um, Actually, I don't know. Maybe Adolf not. No. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait, I think we'll get one of her uh, ancient Chinese sayings here. <gasps> she has an ancient Chinese secret. Or no, it's not always Chinese. She just she has a quote for every time you save up to a You're point. You're alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight when This, this is what my internal dialogue sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's this exact same voice. It's just like, remember ancient Chinese. <laughs> I've always liked reading literature from both sides. She's born and raised in America. She's she has that accent. Uh, sometimes people have their parents' accents, even when they're. I mean, keep in mind this is a white woman. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> they do in the uh, in the re in the uh, in the GameCube version. She doesn't have an accent. Yeah, we just yeah. have to wait Man, you are for Carol to open the cargo door. Stop, I'm getting like invasive calm down like this. Okay, in my that's head now. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't, I don't even want to. Oh, there say. we go. <laughs> uh, uh, they added uh, after uh, with the second game on of uh, like you know you can hold down triangle and just zip through the codec calls if you've heard them before. Okay. Did you uh, did you hear that they're getting rid of the main features of Overwatch too? I don't I don't uh, play Overwatch. I don't think Snoop does either. No, I bought I, I bought the original Overwatch play with friends and I like played like five matches and decided I didn't like it. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting rid of the entire PvE campaign that was the point of having a new Overwatch sequel. Oh yeah, the outer door is conveniently 
for uh for this size card. So did you notice how that uh that tank was missing from the hangar? Yeah. Earlier. Yeah, you got to watch it out. Yeah. Watch made a point of oh, saying, I did right. Yeah. That, and, oh, hey, that tank is missing. And there's tank treads out here. Snake, be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me. Deep oh fuck! I forgot. Right. Deep throat. <laughs> the informant from the water. Deep throat. Game. Never mind about that. You're not using burst. I haven't. I haven't been called that name in ages. Listen, there's a tank. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Okay. Oh, they're right there. So, uh, if you know claymores are around, they're very easy to defeat. You just if you go prone, they won't trigger, and you can crawl over them and grab them. Uh, Wait, what's a claymore? It's a mine. Um, oh, okay. That faces, you just plant it down and it faces one direction. I uh, just want to see if there's anything out here I can grab. They're not that useful in this game from what I remember, but uh, some later Metal Gear Solid games, they're really useful um, to lure guys into. Oh, yeah, here we go. What? There's the tank. This is Raven's territory. Oh yeah, speaking of primo oh racism. My God. <laughs> Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. What? Send him a message. He sounds German. He's not German. Yeah, that accent just sounds like. <laughs> no, he's like doing like the to do Tonto. Yeah, he's present. he's he's doing like Tonto voice. You should crawl Trust me, I know. Like the snake you are. So yeah, Vulcan All Raven. He was just like do a couple That's a couple fine. like pale face, you know. Okay. Uh, so the crawl on the ground thing is somewhat of a hint in that you can avoid uh, some of the shots by crawling like here. Yeah. So we need to get close to the tank first. I hope there's more mines to worry about yet. Oh, shit. Didn't have my... Uh, uh... Didn't have my uh, rations equipped. Fuck. <laughs> Get into this divot, harder. and there we go. I'll use the the, the stat horn next time. Yes, we can pass them this way. Yeah, so I'm going to try and use the save states to create like what I think are reasonable checkpoints without overly cheesing the game. I think. There we go. Just gotta stay. Out of his line of sight. Okay, and then we can't risk of getting shot out here, I think. I don't, yeah, I don't know if there's any mines past that initial point to worry about out here. I think. Um. I think, yeah, I think we can use chaff grenades to confound the tanks targeting yeah and a res res resorts to the machine gun uh, yep there we go and, and now we need regular grenades we just gotta oh shit make a somewhat challenging shot up into there yeah that should do it oh fuck I did not do it oh fuck and oh, I'm stuck under the tank yeah. cheap shot <laughs> Fuck yeah! This 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 fight's kind of hard. Like it's it's one of those fights that's like ah. <laughs> you blew yourself up. It's it's not hard if you are like um once you get the grenade throwing down. But uh, I don't I haven't uh, gotten the grenade throwing uh, back. You don't use the grenades that much in this game aside from this fight. Oh wow! He oh fuck! I'm getting so badly owned. 
Damn. This is embarrassing. L. L. Every, everyone put L's in the chat for Stu. Tell him to get good. L. Uh, call, call him a, a little bitch. Objectify it, him. It's, it's hard because I have to run away from the tank and then face it to throw my grenade. And I just... I'll get the rhythm down at some point. I have to, it has to land right where the guy is. Fucking god damn it. It just... What was that call? Uh, I, get, I right. forgot. I, did, I wanted to oh, let Stu finish and then I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit that one. Fucking... Okay. <laughs> 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 it is a good sound. I'll just go back go. to reading my comics. I might put a I might put a safe state past this crawling part here. Uh, Amber cred revoked after the stream. Look, it's been a minute. But it's not like I'm. I mean, do you? Would wanna, you like me to call like... your dad? <laughs> I would have to. So he can beat this level for <laughs> you again. He could not beat this level for me. No, he God, could. I tried to get he my could. dad to like help me beat a level like a Harry, like the Harry Potter, like Sorcerer Stone game, the, the infamously terrible one. And he couldn't. It was specifically the the fucking level where you got to do like quit it. No, fuck wrong. It's awful. <laughs> my dad was like, I can't fucking do it. Nicole's always telling me. Uh, off stream that she she's Fuck. such a huge Harry Potter fan <laughs> to this day and she agrees I, with everything I, that, I that am literally Rollins very says. close to like sending an internal email uh my my like co-workers being like yeah can we not play Harry Potter music in the lobby <laughs> like at all please thank you Oh, there he is. Well, it's, it's it's Boston. If you ask them to stop, they'll just start playing like clan songs. <laughs> there we go. That should get them. Dropkick Murphys? <laughs> no, they're good. I tried to get a like a, a clip of like the opening like bass Burn, is that a going up to Boston for the Discord soundboard. Yeah, see, it's like, it's not, it's, it's, it's an easy fight if you can just land the fucking grenades, but I just couldn't land the fucking grenades. Yeah, you suck. You got, yeah, I realize you got to go over to where those pillars are and it kind of forces the tank to not be able to spin and hit you so easily. And then you can line Wait, up your throw. what happened to Ridley Scott? I hope you are. Is he dead? You got the card. We'll play with him Is Ridley later. Scott dead? No, I think he's still alive. His brother. Are, are you asking our general opinion on Ridley Scott? I'm, I'm assuming uh, you mean like battle, what people see as the as sort of decline <laughs> in his movies. Okay, oh, cut scene. I, would oh. no I like some of his later films. I told you so. I like I like his like historical so epics. General Those were fun. I hear he took your hand Kingdom of Heaven's Ooh. pretty good. You got birds. In the language of the Sioux people. Snake. Oh no, is he supposed to be native? Yeah, yeah, he's got a spiritual oh, no. bond with his with his ravens. He's got like Maori tattoos and shit? No, I don't think they're Maori. They're not Maori, but yeah. like if, on visual. I, will meet again I don't know. In polygons. But apparently we were, this fight was kind of rigged. The they want to lead us in further. Thirst for his blood. That's another thing with every Metal Gear game. Everybody's always got like 5D chess plans going all the time. Except you, except Snake and you, the player um, perspective character. Uh, but. Anyway, okay, yeah, so what happened seen, with uh, Ridley Scott? Ridley Scott movie in a minute. Um, I think the most recent thing of his, I, I still haven't seen House of Gucci yet because that's, um, that's another like, God, gotta like carve out an afternoon for that. I think. Um, I mean, I love Lady Gaga in anything, so I, I will get around to watching that eventually. Um, Prometheus. Uh, I didn't. Obviously, like it's it's nowhere near as good as like the as Alien or Aliens, but it it gets a lot of credit for me because it is literally the only movie I have had to pause and walk away from because it freaked me out. Like, a, I'm specifically talking about the the scene where she gives herself a. a 
surgical C-section. Like, I, I had to pause the movie. I was like, I got lightheaded. That is that has never happened. That scene does rock. Person. Not a great movie overall, but that scene does rock. I've already programmed the nanomachines. Oh, the nanomachines won't even let us use our weapons in this room because we'll hit about? nuclear waste. That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah. There's I'm lots a fucker. of boxes piled up here, but... I don't think shooting warheads. a nuke will make yes. it go off. All... No, it shouldn't. <laughs> they just leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is... Oh, I always forget about Nastasha, because she doesn't really show up in the main codec convos. You have to go out of your way to call her. ...nation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious... Okay, yeah, so they won't explode. Snake, okay. never use your weapon on that floor. Yeah, it's just it's more of just a, a pretext for a gameplay challenge. There's something in that truck to pick up? I don't think so. Also, some of these grates are noisy and will draw dudes attentions if you go on them. I don't think I need whatever's in there. Oh. A box oh, time. I don't... The box might not work in here, too. Does Snake eat box? He loves boxes so much, so he, he better have a good, box. like, box-eating game. Okay, right. He wasn't suspicious of it. I think on harder difficult, because last time I played this, I played it on hard. Last time I played this on hard, it's like the box is like way less safe. All right, go. Thank you. Turn around. Let me get to the elevator, because I'm kind of in a hurry as a guy. Yo, there is there is this, this movie the other day called The Five Devils, and it used total eclipse of the heart in like a way like the best way that a, a movie has ever used that that song period. Oh, oh shit! Um, Should I have gone back to the tank hanger basement to use my level three card? Cause there's a door in there I couldn't get to before. In there? Um, but I don't know if it's anything I need that okay. badly right now. I mean, I. You're you're the one. It'll be fine. Le captaining the ship, man. Oh, it's a little library. I think it'll be okay. It might have been the body armor, but you don't really need it most of the time. Oh, the Nikita launcher. That we do need. All right, level four door. I remember being a kid and getting caught in here and hiding under those desks in the center. Oh, shit. A guy. Shit. Four door, it says. Okay. I have to pop in here for a second. It, they didn't train these these people to look underneath things. Oh, well, you wouldn't They'd expect be like, it. Be, be, be aware of moving boxes. Suspicious moving boxes. If they, uh, if they see you go under a desk or you're like in the red alert phase when you go in there, uh, they'll toss grenades down there. Uh, or in a vent, if I remember right. Like places they can't reach normally. Okay. Now this part is legendary. It's a very classic part of the game. It's kind of unique puzzle okay. section. Whoa! It's also just very funny conceptually because it's it's more like almost Tomb Raider-y shit in this military base. It's like a poison gas and an electrified floor. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But Wait, oh fuck, do I need the- is the gas mask? Remote controlled missile. Oh fuck, it might have been the gas mask that was back there I needed to get. Shit, okay, I might have to backtrack. Don't have the gas mask. 
Or do I get the gas mask after... No. No, I think you can equip the gas mask while using the Nikita. Hey, okay, anybody in chat remember if I need to backtrack to get the gas mask or not? Anybody? We need help. I mean, you can always try, like, save and try, and if you die... Oh, that's true, yeah. No, yeah, I think okay, I do, though. I think I do. Yeah. That's okay. It's not far when you know what you're, where you're, you're going. You suck at this. Oh, come so, on. You're, why are you not speed running this? Why are you <laughs> not, like, almost finished with the game? Yeah, not just doing a perfect playthrough. How many gameplay hours would you say this This, is? this whole game? Um, I don't know, 8 to 12? If that? It's not a super long game. It's on two CDs, but that's in part because there's so much voice acting and cutscenes. Um, but it's uh, it's not a super long game. Okay, now I think there's more uh, more mines out here. And once you defeat the tank, I think there's some stuff over here to grab too. Yeah, rations. I'm full up on those yet. Yeah, I'm full up on those. All right. A quick little jump back. Level three. They do actually. They, they kind of use backtracking to pad this game out a little bit. We'll see near the end. Two, an example of that. That's okay. It's still pretty reasonable length game. Or Metal Gear Solid games are generally not very long. Um. Okay, maybe it's later in the game they put more mines out here. Um, five is like probably the longest one, but it's because it's got kind of like a lot of side missions and stuff. God, how how long was Persona Five? Oh fuck! Right, the lasers. At least like Are fifty still hours. On? I think I invested into that. Right, lasers. If not a hundred, I don't remember. God damn it! You you have activated our trap. Fuck. <laughs> Forgot I had to get back through the fucking lasers. Maybe I should use the fast travel that can come in from the other side. Game. But I still have to get through them the other way, I think. Fuck, it's over. Snake is <laughs> At least this game just starts you at the last, uh, like, area entrance you use. So it's, like, pretty generously checkpointed. Um... Okay, all right. none of these doors are level three up there. I know it's like two and four. Yep. Yeah. Where's the elevator? Oh yeah, yeah. You have to actually literally wait for okay. it to arrive sometimes. Fifty hours is arguably shorter than for a mainline SMT game. Oh yeah, those are apparently really long. I've never played a Persona game. I actually don't generally play a lot of JRPGs. Part because I just burn out on them I love before the I finish game. them. Or, I've only played four and five, but in both in both games they have given me sons. They have given me son boys. You do love your sons. I do love my sons. I love my sons. You like Golden Sun? Mr. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun? Oh, is that all that's in here? Is Nikita missiles? Is there nothing else? Am I an idiot? Do I need to... Do I need to do the Nikita... Do we need a tutorial for you? Goddamn. Yeah, I'm calling your dad. No, I think there's <laughs> nothing else left to do. No, I'm good. I'm good at this game. I'm the best. Fucking god damn it. I didn't even need to come down here. I'm an idiot. Oh, right. I'm back at this one. Okay. No, I think I gotta do the Nikita missile before my normal breath runs out, and then I can find the gas mask in that area, and I'm once I can get on the floor and my memories just completely failed me. We do have to backtrack to get something else later though. That was Alright, Nikita missile launcher. Oh I equip it once I'm in there. 
I need to get through this door first. Then I equip it. Ooh, I almost walked on the floor. Shit, I unequipped it. It's the stress of streaming. It's getting to me. Oh yeah, the the, the missile, the, the Nikita missiles, really silly because it goes like way too slow to stay in the air. But it's like hard to pilot because it goes like it like boosts it like goes slow and then boosts itself. So you kind of never know when it's gonna. Um like do that or no I guess it's on a timer but it's catches you off guard and these the turret guns will try to shoot it and then we got to get into this room and then that there we go I didn't have to backtrack I'm an idiot fucking gas mask is in this area Okay, yeah, okay. Dark side fill comparisons are, are totally valid uh, at this juncture. <laughs> no, God, no. Dark side stew. He's gonna crank one out on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that, <is so> <laughs> that is. Oh, right. Fucking card. That's level four. Okay, and we can. I mean, I I probably invite like Lindsay Ellis comparisons upon myself. I, I so it's all right. Okay, that I'd work. Lindsay Ellis. Actually, I'll just use a chaff grenade. There's a a turret camera in there, and I just it's hard to get past. There we go. There. Although, the annoying thing with the gas mask is you still need to, um, swap to it. Uh, you have to swap back to the card to get through the doors. Yeah. Might just use the Nikita launcher here to... Just clear out some of these turrets. The Nikita launcher is a really powerful item. If you remember to keep stocked with ammo for it, you can cheese some. Uh, there's a boss fight you can totally cheese later in this game with it. Are you missing or? No, I'm blowing them up uh, at a at a splat with splash damage. Six, that's three, there we go. No, yeah, see, I, I blew them all up just with splash oh, okay. damage, basically. That's a level three door. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. I swear, I'm paying attention. No, that's a that's an easy thing to miss. I don't want you to Bye. yell at me again. Oh. I didn't yell at you. Yeah. You didn't yell at me. You didn't yell at me, but you were like, yeah, sometimes I felt like you did during that one screening of possession you talked about. That was during, was okay, like, that damn. was during Silent Hill, and I was. I was like, damn. Very, <laughs> okay. Just a little bit, not completely full blown. <laughs> I was like, god damn, okay. So I got a similar type of mad I, I got dirt, like, over like the weed and cut as I did that. <laughs> Yeah, you re that was pretty impressive. Oh, here's one of my favorite cutscenes coming up here. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, some homies were eating shit. Whoa. Some homies? <laughs> what did you mean by that, Steve? <laughs> start going, yo, yiggity, yo, yo. What did you mean by that? <laughs> what did you mean by that? Oh, God. Like they were this happened to me. Some type of blade. But I was fine. <laughs> it was Wesley Snipes. Yeah, look at that. One dude was just slammed right into the wall there. Damn. Yo, um, chat. Oh, sh listen this, to the whispering is... voices. It's very. This is very oh. creepy. 
Chat, if you become our patrons, one of you should suggest we watch Blade. If you win, if you win the raffle, one of you should suggest Blade, Blade we watch one and the nineteen uh, 70s Doc Savage movie. Oh, this happened so to me, but I was fine. <laughs> Did you samurai? I just oh yes, that. okay. Here, here he is. Here's one of the other great Metal Gear recurring characters. Gave up. Oh, this guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Camouflage? Who are you? Where is he life? peed himself. What? What are you talking about? He's having a squirt off. <laughs> what? what? The, the fuck is a squirt off? <laughs> How do you not know what a squirt off <laughs> is? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I thought... Who are you? <laughs> Neither enemy nor friend. The fuck are you kids doing now? Cyborg Ninja. Hell yeah. That's so cool. Oh, you can see uh, the um, visual novel adventure game Kojima made before this. That only came out in Japan. Police knots posters on the wall. What's with these guys? <laughs> it's like one of my Japanese... Yes, he said the line. <laughs> What is it? Revenge? Oh, no is wonder it's just this, this guy's beloved. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, he's 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 the audience. <laughs> he's the kind of kind of guy you want to see fan art of, like him being like Tom tied up and domed and like pegged. Oh, I'm sure it exists. Oh, oh, I get the. Fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, oh make boy. Me I need that boy. Make me calm again. Oh yeah. So his thing is. Oh my god. Oh okay, yeah, he's got some moves. So if we try to shoot him. Oh fuck! That was a grenade. Uh, <laughs> we try to shoot him. He'll just deflect our bullets. So we have to... Yeah, we have to engage him mano a mano. He'll, he'll get kind of pissed if we try to shoot him. I should have my rations out. Oh, fuck. There we go. This is a gay guy. That's a gay list. All right, now it's mano a mano. You can you can get one combo off on him before he counters attack each time. Then you got to get out of his way. Gotta watch out for some of these moves. Oh fuck yeah, that's fast. <laughs> Grim Jim's oh. wins the Kikatsia <laughs> movie starring all three of you guys. Oh god. Oh my god. Imagine if we made like a movie together. <laughs> it would be the most like... First of all, it would be terrible. Second of all, it would be unwatchable. Uh, actually, you, you know what? It would be better than Kick. I could make a better movie than Kick Ashia, yes, like, completely. No, I take that back. No, we, it would be it would be more, technically be more of a movie because Kick Asia is technically not a movie. <laughs> It's no, just it video is. footage of people hanging out together in stupid costumes. Also, I just want to draw your attention to, like, the windows and the computer smash when he hits them and papers go flying. And the ch Yeah, like, there's, like, they, like, Ooh, really make yeah, a spectacle of this nice fight, fight for how, uh, you know, given the hardware limitations of the era. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't get the hit in. Also, I think that's... 
a PlayStation on the shelf there. Yeah, I just I want him to finish a combo before I go in for a hit. This is probably this is maybe the hardest boss fight in the game. Although the I mean, boss fights are all so like different. Yeah. This guy gave me some like final boss vibes. Oh no, you'll used. see the final boss. So he's just like a, a henchman. Yeah, he's he's on he's his own guy. He said he's he's beyond friend or foe. He's just got a weird fixation with us for mysterious reasons. Um, so we can uh, we can use one weapon effectively against him. The chaff grenades will fuck him up. Chaff grenades also fuck Bye, me burgers. up. Oh, fuck, where is he? Um, Bye, man. Yeah, chaff... Well, the funny thing is chaff grenades in this game are, like, an EMP, but chaff, like, what chaff actually is is just, like, bits of metal that confuse sensors um, to deflect missiles and shit. I mean, I guess because you're... It's, like, cyborgs, so they probably have, like, aircraft sensors, you know? <laughs> I don't think that the chaff grenades... Do the chaff grenades work on, uh... On normal-ass niggas? No, they don't do anything to regular guys. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, so it's just this guy. So, yeah, he probably has, like, aircraft yeah. sensors or some shit on him. I'm here, Snake. He's yeah, like he's... holding his asshole open for him. Yeah, that's a gay guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do... <laughs> Although I think he starts using his sword again and gets pissed off when you abuse the chaff grenade, so there is a consequence to it. Like, where is he? He's got only got a few hiding spots. I'm just getting a little unlucky. Hurry up and catch me. <laughs> Hurry up and fuck me. Oh, there he is. Instead of a sword, he's just, like, waving his giant hawk around. <laughs> Come and suck it, snake. Ah, uh, yes, we will use men's weapons. <laughs> it's, it's just it's just the naked wrestling scene from Women Who Love. Just two guys sweaty with their cocks out. Yeah, sometimes you only get one hit on him when you use the shaft grenade, though. It's not perfect. Oh, there he is. All right, here we go. Next phase. Ooh, he's a little pain slut. He is. Yeah, I know it rules. He's a little... He's... Yeah. Right! Okay, yeah, he starts doing Ooh, this. Queen. He does this cheap little shot move and then does a ton of damage. And you gotta avoid it. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah he, go. he just wants to take, Whee! like, Snake's cock dry. Oh, yeah. He, he wants to bite the pillow. He wants his dick stepped on. I get it. Or something. I really get it. You want? You want? Do you remember? You remember my cock hard in class. That's good, Snake. He's talking about him fucking him. <laughs> I just, I'm oh, yeah. Oh, the mental... oh, he does this. And if you're too close to him, he'll kill you right when you finish the. Oh, fuck. He teleports too. Oh, my God. Yeah, he just starts going all over the place and you can you can win the fight and then die right at the end and have to do the whole fight again. Oh, I might have to get one more hit off on him or something? I don't remember. Or if he just does this for a little bit. I also start talking like that. Hurt me more. Hurt 
Yeah, you can't get close to him now. What if, like, Snake did just get his, like, cock out and start popping him? He's like, hey, you said it hurt me. <laughs> oh, well, you should see some of the boss fights in Metal Gear Solid 4. Snake. Do in my you ass. remember me now? Can't be. Man, it was pre-coming as soon as the boss fight started. Zanzibar. Yeah, no, bar for it's everyone does want to fuck Are Snake in this. Can? Oh my god. What? Not again. Fuck, it's over. Yeah, there's like, that's what I love about these games is it's like, you, you think it's just sort of like a James Bond escape from New York thing, and this has got like all this other weird shit in it. Like, we've got mechs and cyborgs and psychics and monologues about whether or not it's right or wrong to kill people and monologues about nuclear this proliferation. Another, this feels like another very like antithesis to everything in the MCU. Oh, completely. Yeah. Cause yeah, you're right. That's, that's the thing is this, this is clearly pulling from pre-existing IPs, but like it has so much individual creative, like, Gray Fox. It's own Colonel, thing. That ninja is already. Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. Yeah, Gray Fox was our ally that we freed and helped and then turned on us because he was loyal to Big Boss. And then you fight him in Metal Gear 2. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark. Dr. Clark. Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Hmm, dot, 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 yeah, JPEG. Test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. He was only mostly dead. Him. They fitted him with the prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's this is like kind of Wolverine. A little bit, yeah. The sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just Sorry, a Chad, I'm robot? actually, like, very interested. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, no, it's... Intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again. This is a very good him? way of, uh, of delivering dialogue not. and exposition. But maybe that's what he wants. Like, because it's also, it's like the communication dial, it's like integrated into the game How with its own mechanic stayed? with the codex. Yeah, no, it's cool, right? It's really like, cool. It's, like, oh, this no, guy. No, Wait, what's no, this guy's name? Alone. He'll introduce himself shortly. We we know him as Hal Emmerich. Ready. Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Oh, this guy's a whoopee. No, he's cool. <laughs> Uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? Hal Emmerich, okay. You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, he did the, he did the. the so you're here to yeah. push up. Sorry, but no. This guy is an old, old taco. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Uh, oh, oh yeah, this is walking like a guy who just pissed his pants. <laughs> okay. I just Why did I wear denim? Trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask just you something. Just because you smell like piss. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What the <laughs> Why are you surprised? <laughs> it's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire. I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? 
They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. <laughs> no, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, this this is the kind of guy who'd be like, wrecked. step on me. Oh yeah, very much so. No. This is a foot guy. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a rail gun. Oh, this guy also has that kind of autism, clearly. Oh, yeah. Well, so does so, well, Hideo Kojima does. Yeah. Oh, gun, you said. Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. I think Rivermore National Labs might be a real uh, place. Gear's main function is to Most of it's missiles. real. You sure you're not forgetting something? <laughs> it's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But that's not all I This guy's dumb as Metal shit. Gear fired only standard <laughs> the government is a useful and they love idiot. Hitler. All the practical data they need. He's a savant, clearly. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National. I love this. Lab, was working on a new I love this use of stock weapon. footage. It's so good. And it was such new technology to be able to do that in a game in this era. The, the PS1 had a chip specifically for decoding uh, MPEG. A new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. I, I've just I've always like been an effective use of like stock footage in something these, like I watched a uh, virtual environment uh, but it's all just theoretical uh, true so stories exercise was designed with David the Byrne the other day in the very beginning of that oh, I gotta watch like that a nice little stock do? footage montage I'm um, six three and I can uh, maintain a consistent panda bear shape damn damn I'm such a fool it's all my fault. Oh my god. This this is also a baby boy. <laughs> my Give him baby boy energy. I'm not sure if I'm using Oh, that oh, right. check this. I love this. Oh. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. Oh, Jesus. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. Otacon's dad shows up in Peace Walker in Metal Gear Solid 5. I I use science to help men he's such a cop. He's even more of a cop. The one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. Oh my That's god. Crying. Yo, what, his, what do you think his letterbox <laughs> is like? <laughs> it's like Barney. Well, he, he, dude, he fucking. He no, fucking. No, no. Like he, the Love Live movie in like this top. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, he fucking. He's, he's all about Gunbuster and uh, Pat Labore. North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah. He, the he cried control. watching the Haruhi uh, <laughs> planning a launch movie. from the start than their ballistic program. Oh yeah, you meet his mom too in, in Peace Walker. Hours, they must not and need me. a little bit in she's referenced words, in five. Launch. Her name is literally Doctor Strange Override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override yeah. the launch, <laughs> we'll have to destroy Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, can I go pee I'll really quick? Um, or um, once the, or once this, once this cut, I don't know if I can pause. The, yeah, I don't think I can pause the cutscene without skipping. I could pause the emulation, but I don't remember what key press it is. But it's almost done. Ass. <laughs> Look at that. 
It's it is my, a fucking my duty an hourglass figure. I'm telling you, man, you gotta, in four, there's so many parts of four where you're like crawling around and you're just staring straight into his like carefully sculpted perfect ass. It's amazing. Escape from an island. Okay. So what? Swim. I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. That and I smell like Same piss. Stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Actually, I got a P2 when we finish this it sequence. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. Yo, what is this church music? Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? But yeah, people accuse Kojima of making Did you hear movies and games what because he has so many cutscenes, but like the actual game design and look like? integration yeah. of things, like the codec calls and stuff, is always really good in a way a lot of other video games don't bother to do. Gamers just hate video games. <laughs> they just they, they play a good video game and they're like, this sucks, there's too many cutscenes, it's not letting me like shoot a Oh, here it is. You know? okay. Well, she's got a very cute... I have to... I, I, oh, my God. Yeah, we, we have to go and find Meryl in disguise oh God, and identify her. Purpose? We have to identify her Holy by her shit. ass and the way she walks. When she's alone, huh? <laughs> There's only one place where we can be sure I'm, she's by herself. I'm tipping my cap to fucking <laughs> for finding a way to make a woman's ass shot like have have that pay off it's a plot and it's a game joss mechanic whedon, <laughs> joss whedon wishes joss whedon found fucking dead in a ditch in miami you're not in pain are you huh you feel okay nothing bothering you what's wrong getting all friendly all of a sudden no, nothing i'm glad you're okay you're strange i'm a little nervous everyone else i've saved suddenly dies you're bad luck forget it doctor call me otacon Otacon. <laughs> for Otaku Convention. <laughs> Animation. Japanimation. Man, I remember my dad used to say Japanimation. <laughs> oh, man. I love this game. In the field of robotics. Yeah, these are all from Kojima's previous game before Metal Gear Solid Police Knots, which was a, a visual novel, oh my God. I think. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. Oh, I love this. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks, <love> man. <laughs> Just sounds like a childish <laughs> And Snake's just like, oh, that's damn. very gay. You have to take responsibility. Science let me, now let me tell you about Tokyo Mew Mew. You're a grown man. Science what are you doing watching cartoons? Famous. But that's all over now. <laughs> I won't take part in murder anymore. You can never have sex with Whatever. a 2D girl. All I want from you is information. Who, who do you think his waifu is? I know everything about this whole well, it's 1990. Well, actually, no, the game canonically takes place in, like, 2005. But, so, with this stealth um, I can sneak in and out of the armory. And Kyoko? If you need that, ammo, that, I was thinking or, that wait, seemed like a lot of sense. Was Kyoko on in 2005? No, it was, two, that was, it was 2007. 2007. Yeah, it's too late. Um, uh, see you later. But you know, yes, he could be like more of an, like an old school anime guy too. Like his like, even in two thousand five, the stuff he likes is from the eighties. In the oh uh, yeah, he's probably like a oh no, you know he was like being like Ray Oscar's his best waifu or best girl. He oh he's definitely you know, an Oscar type. Shit online. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, he would definitely want like Oscar to like peg him, which is a gross sentiment to have because she's fourteen. But he, he, no, you, you don't want to look at that man's hard drive. No, he's, he's, he's a nice boy, Otacon. He's, yeah, he's a good, he's a good, yeah. he's a good dude. You know, he's a bro. He's, actually, you know he's cranking actually, into some... we know for sure he doesn't want to fuck kids because, uh, well, we'll, we'll find out in like three or four games or some shit like that. Chinese like, saying. when do we find all, out? All Chinese <laughs> saying us. Love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. 
That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. <laughs> That's I why I went to do the <laughs> theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. That's what I love about so these games and some some other Japanese games. You get a bit of this. It's like every character has like a philosophy they want to tell you about. It, it like a, they, they all have a worldview and motivations. And even if it's like sort of corny, it's like you compare that to so many games, especially from this era, and like the characters are even the main characters are barely people. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Can I go? I'm gonna go pee. No, we must not go pee. Yeah, no, I've got to go pee too. I'll be back in a second. All right, chat. I guess it's just me now. I'll put my water too. All right, I guess it's just me now. Uh, what would you like to talk about, gang? Hit me with some hot comic book questions or any questions, really. Uh, how we doing? How's everyone's day? Yeah, you you good? Is Chomsky a pedo? I have no idea. You rocking with Corto Maltese? Of course. Of course we're rocking with Corto Maltese. Yeah, comic books do be sort of all right sometimes. Um, oh, Shakara is great. I like Shakara. Um, what you reading lately? I've been starting reading old She-Hulk, uh, and I've been playing Manhunt too. I've never played any of the Manhunt games. Uh, I'm currently reading uh, Captain America by Ed Brubaker. Uh, going through a little bit of that. Had a little craving. I think after that, I'm going to read, I'm not sure, actually, I, I, I've been, I've been feeling a real kick for like a military adjacent uh, tape shit. i am also been uh, troubleshooting my RimWorld game. I think I finally got it going here. And then probably after the stream ends, I might uh, build a Lego set. Is there a throat, throat goat that could make you turn conservative? Uh, I don't know, maybe Blair White. I guess I'd probably hit. I don't know. It wouldn't make me turn conservative. Though. I would just just hit Nancy Regan. Uh, no, I don't think she, that's the thing. She was the throat goat, but she wasn't. She wasn't who, doing it for me, you know. Who, Nancy? Nancy. Yeah, she wasn't. She wasn't attractive. She's, you know? she's would, gross looking. Are you kidding? She's gross looking. I mean, maybe yeah. I would. I would I wouldn't turn down the suck, you know. But none of like, no conservative is really good. Like no conservative woman is I really said, good looking. They're all I like said Blair White. I said some Blair of them White. are, but but they're good looking in like a like a like a like a I don't know like tacky way. You know what I mean? Right. Marjorie Taylor Green says, Absolutely "No, I want the not. other one. I want the who's the other one? The one that, that looks like a, a Lauren Bobert. Of, yeah, yeah, the shittier, the shittier version of uh of Sarah Palin. You think Mar? I, I don't, I don't want to think about her fucking. If I'm being quite honest, I'm playing a Star Trek conversion mod for, or Star Wars conversion mod for RimWorld right now. Oh yeah, how's that? Yeah, throughout like. <coughs> I don't know. I'm still, I'm still setting up my game. All throughout Last Jedi, you were just like, "Damn, I want to play the Star Wars Battlefront right yeah. now." Yeah, we. Well, I think we should. We should do a Battlefront two stream sometime. Yeah. You can probably run that game Six, on a vibrator. Three, like. three, <laughs> four. There we go. Like vision goggles. Oh, nice. Those are useful. Yeah, that Damn, I'm gonna be very, thinking uh, about Otakon for a while now. Uh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you can finally like get to know all these characters and all these like these these uh. That, that um, dude rocks. 
cultural millennial cultural the touchstones emasculated character the first time you meet him he pees himself yeah and he's like in my japanese animes just so endearingly pathetic i love it no it's it rocks i could love this game <laughs> I don't, I don't care about these women. I've been thinking about Ooh, David Lauren Sylvia. Lauren Southern real. is, is That's such so a real. basic white woman. Oh. She's not even decent. She's average. She's not. Right. So. Oh, that's her. I didn't get a chance to show off her walk cycle that much. I caught a glimpse of it, but I was trying to show it again before that happened. Oh, there we are. Cardboard box B. So that'll work better in certain areas of the game. Yeah. And uh, it'll let us use the fast travel yeah, to get I'm to the truck I'm that's sorry. in the first I'm sorry, floor of this Nicole. building. I know what I I know what I got. You know, I'm not shooting for the moon here. Wait, why am I coping? Oh shit. Fuck. Oh, it, wait. There's there's nothing for me to cope over. <laughs> I'm not coping. I'm stating a fact. Huh? She looks like a. Oh, little it's her again. Bitch. I've never seen her react to the box before. Okay, maybe we can see it again. That was cute. Yeah, she she her hips sway a certain way. It's sort of it's sort of. She got the Jessica Rabbit like walk. A, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly like it. Like if I saw Lord. Yeah, Bones, there. Yeah, you can like see it. Fall yeah. My knees, but I would, you know, shoot, shoot, or shoot. You know. Oh. Oh, rations. Fuck it. Yeah, our, our health bar and our inventory allotments gradually like level up as we. Oh. Oh yeah. She goes to the girls' washroom, which you can't go. Oh, you can go in. Right, you can't go into it earlier in the game, and then she... Yeah. <laughs> That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Well, you're very sneaky. Your Meryl? There's no way you can... Also, I think if you look really close, there's like a handful of pixels defining nipples showing through her uh, top. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, there are. There definitely are. She's blasting the high beams. Yeah, she got Wait, she got them Madonna cone titties. They gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same. <laughs> wow, they tried to turn her lesbian. Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome they, they... soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's yeah, you, it's really pixelated, but that's the Foxhound logo. It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back when guys like you and my uncle were in it. What kind of upbringing do you have where you're a so fan like, of a special forces? Like every day. <laughs> there are no heroes. That's to press on. Stupid. The heroes I know are either. Oh, she's just got like. Yeah, she, like sorry, what's that? Sonata TV about a secret costume? Or is that a joke about catching her naked or something? I think that there's a joke about oh, like yeah, oh yeah, secrets in apostrophes, yeah. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop. Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Oh my god. Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something It's like because you were wrapping them <laughs> yeah, cheeks together. You got a great butt. Oh, I see. <laughs> Go. 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 <laughs> nice. How are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... 
we override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. You've got to level up. I'll slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got I'd shoot her. I'll be careful. If you know what I mean. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised Damn. that kind of woman. Fish, be you baddie. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier? I have daddy I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no... You gotta have a clean oh, face to why? kill dudes. Wow. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? <laughs> Don't worry, I can handle it. Wow. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Them headlights. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door Them to the commander's room in. is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. <sighs> Damn, we slept on Abby Shapiro. Okay. <laughs> there was like the week everyone you. was just like memeing about Follow Abby Shapiro's feet. Follow me. She's like, over. She's like, over. Yeah, she has like an entry in wiki feet. <laughs> That's strange. She's over no, have you seen that video of her singing, though? The music. <laughs> She's over so her stupid. Oh, thank you for the follow, Leon Steele. And uh, as well, earlier, I missed yours. Sorry. I mean, I am, but like... You're not. I don't know. There's just... There's too much oxygen, you know? In the... Your, uh... Your notifications are very big. Yeah, I might make them a little smaller. So we can't interact with her, too. Um... Well, well, we have this little section. She's ignoring your ass. There's some, there's something she responds to. I'm just trying to remember what. We can't beat her up. Oh my god, why why would you do that? So Stu has become based in red pill. Because she does that. Wow, <laughs> well, you deserve that. She she winds up her fist really long too, and it like vibrates. It's funny. Um, you, you right, that didn't happen. That. I I I could only do that if I reloaded uh, a save state because it made me feel bad. Normally, it doesn't make Stu feel bad. In fact, quite the opposite. No, it's uh My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. <laughs> okay, where do you want me to come? I did it again. My wife I spit it out again. It should have been parted and Are you okay? What are your wife I quit out? Yeah, happened again. Oh, Sorry, what ha I I missed what happened. She's just she's having headaches and saying that we need to stay away and I'm the screen's getting all flashy. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Let's go. No. Something, some. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Nah, I don't trust like that. Yeah, something weird's happening. <sighs> That's some body snatching shit. Oh, if I try, I never noticed. If I try to go over first person, I see from Meryl's perspective. In that one sequence, I've never seen that before. Back shots on me. Oh, oh my god. Who's <laughs> that? <laughs> you don't like girls. She's being controlled by an evil gay guy. Snake, You're gay. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Oh, that's his mind control music? I missed I, I missed that line. Yeah, he's using his psychic powers to give her a cluster B personality Psycho disorder. Psycho just wants to fuck Snake, I think. <laughs> Alright, so we can use the stun grenade to uh, take her out or beat her up a bunch. I thought, oh wait, no, this is the... How do you do this on an emulator? Uh, it's in the settings. I've done it before. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Oh yeah, you're, wait till you see this, Nicole. I hope that's not your only trick. Hmm. You, yeah, this is crazy. You doubt my power. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. Psycho I man. Word. Voice by Doug Stone. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. God, look at that, like, gimp suit. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. What if, what if a Cenobite <laughs> served cunt? Yeah, it's that is true. kind of his design, yeah. He's, he's actually, uh, his, his face is based on David Bowie, I believe. Oh, here, um, if you've got... There's like eight characters based on David Bowie. And they're all wonderful. So he's... He's interpreting your personality from how you've played the game up to this point, from your stats. So these 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 statements are all customized based on invisible uh, stats the game tracks as you play up to this point. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply. If you have certain Konami games in your memory card, he mentions them here. I think. Oh damn. Hmm. Your memory is Yeah, if like I think if you got Castlevania Symphony of the Night, he'll he'll mention it. He'll shout out Castlevania for real. Not yeah, no, he'll be like, you like Castlevania. That, that's sick. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? You still don't you believe me. Oh, here, check this out. Yeah, maybe it's, I don't know if this will come through. Put your controller okay. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. It's gonna make it vibrate. Yeah, this this game came out when the Dual Shock first did. Yeah, I don't know if that's coming through on audio. Yeah, I don't hear it, but I but yeah. Um. The demonstration is over. Yeah, the Dual Shock had literally just came out. Oh yeah, this happens. Oh. What? Wait. Yeah, it's uh. Wait, what? If you're on, you remember how old CRT TVs were? It would show the channel in the corner or your input, yeah. like video one, video two. Yeah, it makes that's... you think your TV fucked up for a second until you notice it says Hideo and not uh, video. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so now we gotta try and shoot him. I think on the PC port, it like fakes a blue screen. Oh, I think it does too. So he just is gonna keep dodging our shots. And um, 
When he, uh, we can use, I think it's the thermal goggles to see him when he's invisible, though. But he, but he will dodge our shots. It's almost impossible to hit him uh, during this part of the game. Uh, now, at some point, a codec call, I th or we can try calling someone. And they will have some advice for us. Although I don't know, you might have to lose the fight for a little bit before KGB it comes up. Those Soviets. Even the psychics were put out of business by the uh, end of the Cold War. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer. And he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of I like that his backstory is also like a little bit like... Uh, Hannibal. <laughs> that is, yeah. <laughs> Traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Okay, so I don't know <sighs> what we, like, we, I think we have to, like, f uh, go a little bit, but someone... And how much it's... Because it's 10 o'clock now, East Coast. How much longer do we want to go? I wish we could finish this boss fight if you're starting to get tired. Uh, I can go for, like, another half hour. Oh, okay, yeah. No, this is, like, this is, like, foolish shit. I'm, like, enjoying watching this. So, they're, they're giving you more and more hints about control, about him reading your mind. Eventually, they'll just tell you outright. The way you get around his ability to read your mind is you plug your controller in the slot, too. <laughs> um, yeah, because he can't read the meta. <laughs> so I've got a, I've got a window out and go into the settings and uh, controllers. Wow. Um, and I've got to set this controller to Yo, port two. I just got to remember how to do this. Hold on a second. Um, there is actually, I believe, another way you can. Uh, you know, I really can't believe our stream is tagged neurodivergent. <laughs> there we go. Automatic? That should work. No, I did that. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that would be funny. So it now is, we funny. should be able to hit him. Okay. Oh, and that's true. I, I think wait, we used the thermal the goggles. Oh, hold on a second. Did it go weird in Discord? Oh. Okay. Uh, just a sec. L, L in the chat. Skip the, the, if that's for soon. Okay. Now he's gonna be like, oh, can you hit me? Where are my thermal goggles? Oh, there they are. He just throws furniture at us with his... Oh my god! That's really cool. Yeah, no, this boss fight's fucking... When I was a kid, man, it, like, blew my mind. It's like, I, I like whenever, like, a clever breaking of the fourth wall happens in, like, a movie. Like, like the, like, the part in Gremlins 2, where they, like, fuck the actual film stock. saying I can't breathe? Yeah, when I hit him. No. Yeah, I can't breathe. My rations mm. out till he turns invisible. I don't know if I actually do more damage with him with the, uh, Mamas here because he has iframes when you hit him. Oh, fuck. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, he's so pissed that you can get past his psychic defenses. Is invisible? Oh, he's invisible again. 
Come on, man. So funny. This is like a, a series of like escalating fights with various gay men. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. Just super powered or, or really jacked uh, military gay men. It's, it's, Isn't that's that why Stu feels Bell's so mode? at home. <laughs> Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? Oh, this, right, okay. Just gotta. He's out of tricks, we just gotta use the stun grenade again. Oh, that's a chaff grenade. Stun grenade. I like his pose too. It's a little bit of a JoJo's yeah, pose a almost. Jo -jo pose. <laughs> the hips cocked out, like. Stop, Meryl. Can we use the stun grenade again, or do I gotta? Do I have? Or will she do it before it goes off? No, that works. Yeah. No, it cannot be. No. You're out of tricks, buddy. Back her no. in. It's a very gay, gay guy. <laughs> Visually, this is really cool. The night vision stuff, like this. The thermal goggles, yeah. Because visually, I mean, like, you know, without, like, you don't see, like, the polygons or anything. So this looks as good as, like, anything you can see now. I think, like, it's, it's, it's really visually cool. Yeah, the, the aiming is just, the, the aiming of guns in this is weird. It's like part auto. You got to kind of like rotate yourself and then it's kind of auto aim. But you like you hold down the button and release to shoot. It's really strange <laughs> uh, by a modern st sensibility. Yeah. Colonel, your niece is going to be OK. Thanks. Just a few concussions and some hearing damage. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Yeah, he just gets launched. Because you like her. I don't want to yeah, see anyone he wants to do back right shots. Me. Oh, really? No, you want to do Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? They you want to go in raw? It's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. I mean, but that doesn't mean to. he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. He, he, he needs head. So, uh, who doesn't? Use the everyone can use a little head. I would... Yeah, no, I would quit this stream right now for some A strong man doesn't need to read the future. Ooh. He makes his own. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, That's a motivational poster that. right there. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. Strong men make soft futures. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. Then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? That yeah, one guy right. in the picture back there looks a little like Willem Dafoe. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of yeah. thousands upon thousands okay. of men and women. Oh, gross. <laughs> and each mind that I... Oh, he got a fucked up face? Stuffed with <laughs> the same single 
object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Oh, Every he's a no nut guy? He's an antinatalist. To mindlessly pass on that DNA. We designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you. This, this guy's just been a no never nut guy. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father. Oh man, you see some weird shit in there. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. Oh yeah, that'll black pill you instantly. My mother died in childbirth. <laughs> and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to... The yeah, he really got like the gimp suit on. With, like a, a harness. He, he looks like... No, he, he, he looks like he went to Doll's Kill. He, no, you're you're early. He really... He does kind of look like a Cenobite. <laughs> we are truly the same. You and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. You, Snake, you're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I was just like her mind as well. Some like Paul Atreides kind of shit. Is there. Snake gonna be like a super? No, I, I think it's more like because it's kind of a meta commentary on whoever's like the player because the player presumably plays a lot of action games and has oh, enjoyed yeah. killing a whole oh. lot of people. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Again, like the themes like that are why all the future Metal Gear Solid games give you non-lethal options. So you can hypothetically play the game without killing anybody. The people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. Kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, cool getting cool cool getting sweeby. Getting so eepy. You know You're me getting so Yeah, this is a really good natural stopping point. We're kinda if, yeah, if we, we're, it, we're gonna, like we're pressing the three hour mark. But no, like as like this is like a good like act break kinda place to leave off. After this cutscene. If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. Hell yeah. You're right. Motivational speech. I'm sorry. Awesome. I won't do it again. That's one of my favorite Metal Gear things is is the bosses all having like soliloquies when you beat them. Or when you meet them. Just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Will you oh, do it to no. me, Raw? No condom? 
<laughs> so, tell me, Snake. What's your name? How big is it? Your real name. A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Are you single? Is there anyone you like? I've never yep. been to a <laughs> life. Which way does it curve? So you are <laughs> <laughs> How long is your snake? Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you, dude, you're full of cum. <laughs> gotta, gotta shoot some of that out into something. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that. <laughs> just do that now, because I might forget when I load the game up. Yeah, Kojima, Kojima. Oh man, I wish Kojima had a letterbox. He is. I mean, his Twitter he is. Is his letter? Wait, does he? he? Does. He basically does his Twitter. You know? Yeah, he's always talking about what movies he's seen. Hey, we, should get, baby. we should get Kojima on the pod. I just I like to manually save once in a while just in case I fuck up my save state. Oh, right, I hit X and circle to do everything. Yeah. Jap okay, old Jap back. Japanese games in this era use circle as their action button a lot of the time instead of X. Sue, you didn't stream it, you gotta stream it to Discord. Oh fuck. Yeah, we're, we're missing right. the, the the white girl Chinese accent. Sorry, I forget it. There we go. Please, Nick, don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like she said please, Nick. Um, you're Chinese. <laughs> Um, you're Chinese. All right, so that's a good place to leave off, I think. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, yeah. We'll do this again next week. This was this was fun. I really liked this. No, I, I was telling you, man, this shit rocks. This 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 it's just a lot of a lot of things in my brain. Oh wow, yeah, nobody I follow on Twitch is streaming right now. Yeah. I've got nobody dun, to send dun, you dun, all dun, to. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, I'm dun, dun. gonna have that like in my mind. Oh yeah, it's so catchy. Wake up tomorrow morning. Yeah, I've, wow, I've got nobody to raid. Uh, send you to none of the people I kind of know on Twitch are going right now. Oh well. Can you think of anybody cool? Uh you should raid Vic Mignona. <laughs> no, <laughs> Jesus. no, no, um, no. All right. Well, thanks everybody Please, for tuning in. Would... Yeah, thank uh, you guys. Um, is he actually listen streaming to the... right now? Yes, he is actually streaming right now. Go, oh, wait. No, I thought uh, I had a I mean, bot I command for our links. He's still watching this, hasn't listened to our podcast, but uh, also we have a Patreon. You should. Yeah, I thought I had a, a bot yeah, command that would post all the links, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, we're, we're getting close to crossing the 100 per dollar. Are we fucking month. really? Yeah, we're very yeah, close. Very close. We got like 82 in there. So keep it coming because then we get like more benefits and like the more sort of stuff because we want to be I want I would like to be able to like pay Miguel. Yeah, that would be Miguel, our something, producer. Yeah, such a slaveless job. Um, editing all the yeah, it is a slaveless. It would be an easier job if he had people. slaves. Um, I agree. It would be an easier job. We should we, we should get slaves. <laughs> We should have slaves, should. but not that kind. The fun <laughs> kind, the you know, the gimp suit kind, the kind that look like Psycho Mantis. Okay, yeah. all right, That's okay, I can go with that. <laughs> Someone winning the Nicole fuck a fan contest, thinking they're gonna hit. She's just like, put on the gimp suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta look like a uh, fucking big Ed and uh, people under the stairs. <laughs> He's in a gimp suit in that. All right. Thanks, and everybody, for tuning right. in. Uh, links here in the chat uh, for the podcast. Um, and, oh, you know, I'll post the Discord, too, if any of you want to jump in here. Yeah, guys. Yeah, this Discord's been fun. It has been popping off, as they say.
All right. Have yourselves a good night. And we'll see you again next week. Exclusive pet picks. Yeah, Bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.